All right, it's time for another week. ZTGD Radio. This is episode 798 for June 3rd, 2024. We're already in June. Summer is here. But you know what that means. E3 is here. Yeah, the Keeleys. No, this ain't the Keeleys. What do we call this? That's the Game Awards. Summer Game Fest is what you call it, but I E3. call it E3. E3. Yeah, it's G3. There you go. Uh, on the show this week, we have Terrence. What up? We got the Wombat. Goddamn piece of shit. <laughs> I can't stand this bitch. <laughs> uh, oh, man's got, got a corrupted shit. save file. Is not having a good morning. Yeah. Y'all know how it goes. You know how it goes. Oh man, save files are are the bane. When they get corrupted or deleted, it's like the worst in the mm-hmm. world. Bullshit. It's supposed to have cloud saves keeping yeah. you from having corrupted bullshit. I mean, the cloud save is have... still there, but it's just corrupt, corrupted in the cloud. Yes, yeah, have fucking fifteen different copies of my Road to the Show save, and all fucking fifteen of them apparently are corrupted. Or shit. Fucking <laughs> wild that they all corrupted. Well, Jesus. I don't know. That's the thing. Because of the way the game's built, I have no idea how to know if they're all corrupted because I can only. You can't, uh, like, pick which one to load? No. Oh. Uh, now, why the hell do yeah. we. Why, why the hell does it let you save 15 files if you can only load because one? When you're in Road to the Show, it lets you pick which one to load. Maybe what I'll if try you to start up a new one? I was just about to say, what if you start like a new game and then try to load from there? Let's see, I'm sure that'll work. And now my connection Hopeful. to the fucking online has been lost. When <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I blame. Like I said before the show, I blame Game Pass and Series S. Goddamn it's always piece of shit Xbox. Yep, fucking Xbox Game Pass. Oh, oh, but you can better uh, you can better believe it's got enough uh, connection to Xbox Live to serve me fucking ads. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Eat shit. Oh, I got that. I got that ad this week. Like where it was like, "Do you want to play Hellblade?" I was like, "Or do you want to download Hellblade?" I was like, "Motherfucker, how does my Xbox not know that I've already played and beat this game and I own it?" Right. That because I be getting ads like that about stuff too, and I'm like, um. Why you ain't smart enough to know? Like, it's in your ecosystem. It does that in the store where, like, it's, like, suggestions for you and it's shit I own. Mm Mm-hmm. I get that, too. Like, the upgrades where it's, like, you can spend $10 and get the ultimate edition of uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla or whatever. Like, all of that stuff is in there, too. It's fine. Yeah. AI's not taking my job anytime soon. No. Mr. No, Algorithm, so. he can kiss my ass. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it is it is E3 week, so I don't. We always have trouble recording the show during the Xbox thing because I think what time is that thing next week? Is it three o'clock? Uh, I. Th- I think it's after the show, yeah. Well, let me look. I'm pretty sure. But, like, if we record the show and then, like, the Xbox thing happened, like, our show is like, well, who fucking cares? Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so sometimes we, like, record later in the day or, like, the next day. Because, like, you know, you, you want to talk about that thing. Because that's, like, the biggest yeah. showcase outside of one. Keely's thing. Mm hmm. It's at one. It's a one. Okay, so it's during the show. So we st- like we'll talk about it, but like maybe do it after. I don't know. Figure something out. But anyway, that's that's next week. Hey, hey guess what? It worked. No files were found. <laughs> wow. Oh, 
shit. So all 15 of them are just gone, apparently. I, uh, Xbox Live was down... Yeah. Like, what Friday was that, night? Friday night? Yep. Because <laughs> I was... The... You, I, you were playing Overwatch, I saw, and it must you must have been cool, because I tried to load into something... And it gave me an error message, and I tried to load into something else, and it gave me an error. And I was like, oh, okay, fuck this, I'm going to bed. Wow. So, <laughs> nothing worked. So, I guess if you were already in a game when it had the issue, you were saved. But you tried to get into something, it didn't work. Yeah, I don't know. I I recognized it was out at one point, and that's when I was watching TV. Because I went to the dashboard, it was like, do you want to sign in? I was like, motherfucker, what? Yep, yep. And I came back later, and I logged in. And it like hiccup for a second, and then it logged in, and I played, and I didn't have any problems. I don't know. Yeah, it didn't let. Maybe it was just certain stuff, because yeah, it didn't let me load into anything. <laughs> but that's fine. All right, let's talk about some video games. Let's do that. I'll go ahead and start. I was gonna say, as <laughs> Ryan is gonna be like, I tried to play the show, but these motherfuckers. Right. <laughs> it won't let me. Right now. Uh... I don't blame you. Um. All right. So I have. Well, I'm playing a couple things for review that I can't talk about yet. Um. I think I can next week, though. Yeah, I think I can next week. Uh. But I played the new uh tactical game on Xbox called Capes. Um, if you're familiar with XCOM, this is very much XCOM just with, uh, superheroes, um, which I think what I think is funny is that it's called capes, yet none of the heroes wear capes in this. It's more akin to, um, if you've read the comic powers or seen that show, like, so the heroes don't necessarily all have like costumes, like they just wear costumes, clothes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it's not it's not bad. I mean, if you like the XCOM games, um, it hasn't. I haven't gotten that far in it, so I'm not sure if it has the base building that uh, XCOM has, how you upgrade different stuff. But it does like the combat and um, tacticalness is all there. So I mean, there's Overwatch. You know, when you set your characters up and have them look out at a different uh, at a point, and somebody crawl if an enemy crosses it, they'll start shooting at them or whatever. Um, it's all turn based, just like XCOM. Uh, there, it doesn't appear to be percentages. Like when you go to attack somebody, it doesn't say like you know ninety five percent, and then you miss. Um, it just you know a hit is a hit. So I think that's because it's superheroes. Because I know uh, uh, what was it? Midnight Suns did that because it was done by the XCOM people, but they took out the whole percentage thing. Because I mean, you're a superhero. Like if I'm swinging, I'm gonna punch you. You know what I mean? There's no five percent that I'm a miss. But anyways. Uh, that game's not bad. I, I played, uh, booted up Hypercharge Unboxed for the Xbox, uh, reviewing that as well. As I've said before, I played this, uh, on Switch. It's, uh, it's fine. Like, it's not, it's not a bad game. It's not, you know, a great game. It's just kind of middle of the road. Um, it's a horde mode, uh, with action figures. So you protect these different points and you have to find batteries um that look like you know duracell um to power up your different like uh defend points and then you can build you know walls and turrets and stuff like that um and they send different you know waves of enemies if you played any of those uh what is it tower defense i think it's called it it works kind of it works like that so it's kind of like a horde tower defense thing because you're always trying to protect your forget what it's called but the little power supply thing um and they just you know sends different waves of different types of enemies at you again not bad it's just very basic um the first person shooter aspect because that's what it is you can switch it to third person but the shooting is just very uh it's just very basic like there's not a lot of um a lot of extra kind of flourishes that you might find and stuff like you know doom or or uh dishonored or even you know battlefield like i mean there's just you know run and shoot i mean it's just <laughs> that's really it um in Toys R Us. In Toy, yeah, in Toys R Us. So there, and it's like you're in different areas of it too, because like the one level I was in was like in like a stock room, but like I could see like the outside, uh, like the toy store, like the hallway leading outside or whatever. Um, but it's the maps are pretty big and they're varied. So I mean, it's vertical, uh, big as well. So I mean, there's there's hidden spots. Uh, you know, you run behind shelves and behind stuff, and you'll find different power ups and different hidden collectibles. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, yeah, it's okay. It's just not, you know, it's just not all it that. It does have crazy. split screen, which a lot of games don't have anymore. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, nice. Yeah, that is cool, because yeah, that, that is a dying breed, the split screen thing. Um, but yeah, and I haven't played multiplayer. I tried, like, I, I don't know if it has, maybe you know, if it has crossplay. Does it do crossplay with Switch? Well, Steam. Oh, it's the okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I didn't, I did not try multiplayer, but I'm, I am gonna try that <clears throat> before I get the review done. But yeah, it wasn't bad. Like you get to pick your, your action figure, you know, your character, and you can customize them. Like you can kind of change the colors, you can change what their weapons look like, and like the materials and stuff. And it's, it's kind of neat. As a kid, you know, I liked the movie Small Soldiers. That was cool stuff. I mean, what kid didn't imagine their action figures coming to life? And I buried mine. Sure. Oh, okay, you were one of those. All right, gotcha. <laughs> Duke you know. died on the battlefield today. Snake Eyes. Yeah. He's giving a eulogy. Yeah, you know. Nice. How did Duke go? I'm just wondering. Um, I mean, you know. Pick him out? It was Cobra. La 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 la. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that's a good movie, too. The G.I. Joe movie. Oh, oh man. man, that movie. That intro. Oh. oh. Best intro. Um, God, I'm about to watch that after the show because I have that. I'm about to watch that movie. Oh yeah, I own it. I own it digitally. I wish they'd 4K transfer like they did the Transformers movie, but they ain't done that yet. Yes. Yeah, I know. You know what? I don't think they will because it's like I think it's one of those things that like if you know, like you love that movie, but like it didn't make a lot of like it's not like a huge. You know, doesn't have like a huge. What the man? I like that movie though, Serpentor, and all this, the crazy shit that they introduced with Cobra. <laughs> fucking, like, fucking, was... fucking Burgess Meredith, like yeah. Nemesis Enforcer. <laughs> Every time he says oh. it, he has to call it by his name. He's like Nemesis Enforcer. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm watching that after this. That 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 movie is is entertaining. Um. Okay, so let me quickly run through. So Yakuza Like a Dragon, I jumped back into that because I haven't finished it. I'm on Chapter 9, uh, I think. Chapter 10. So I think I'm close. Um, I think I don't remember how many chapters it has, but I'm, you know, heading towards the finishing line there. That that game is, is great. Uh, looking forward to finishing it because I do want to play the second one because I really like Ichiban. Like, I didn't jump into Yakuza, as y'all know, uh, until... Really, this was the first one that I played. I played some of like Zero and stuff, some of the ones with Kiryu, but I don't have the connection that y'all have with him. Um, but I really like Ichiban. This this, this dude is awesome. Um, what else did I play? Played some more Killer Clowns from Outer Space, so that's officially out now. Is anybody actually playing it? Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah. Um, lobbies have been have been pretty full. I've I've met some folks on there because you know I get on the 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 chat. Because it's, it's built so, and it kind of sucks, because, like, the clowns can hear everybody. So there is no, like, team speak. So it's, you know, it really, like, if we were in this situation and everybody's standing there, like, you, you everybody can hear each other. Um, so the clowns are taunting the humans, and the humans got to be careful about if you're trying to communicate where you're going, because the clowns might hear you and stuff like that. But anyways, I've met some cool people on there. Um, befriended some little kid, and it's funny, because some nigga in there was like, why are you talking to this little kid? And I'm like, I don't know, because this nigga cool. Like, you know, little, little southern dude. Like, he was super funny. Well, why are you talking yeah. to this little kid? Yeah, that's what he said. He was like, why are you talking to this little kid? I was like, because he fucking talking to me. Like, I don't, why are you rude? Like, damn. Like, but nah, he was, he was cool. Uh, Little, little southern kid. Like, I, I like, he added me on his friends list. He's like, what? When you be on, Magnus? I'm like, oh, Lord. Now, listen, now, I ain't going to be on all the time. <laughs> now, look what you've done. Exactly what it was. I was like, oh, look what I did. Jesus Christ, I'm too friendly. But no, nah, it was all right. But no, nah, I, I do uh, I do enjoy that game. <clears throat> I still think if you like the asymmetrical um, multiplayer games, that this is probably the best version of those that are out right now. Um, as far as what it's given you and everything, yes, there's still some bugs. Um, I believe, and I believe they said there there's a patch coming out on June 4th that's supposed to fix a lot of the stuff that... Um, I even put in the review uh, with some of the issues, but yeah. So uh, again, thirty nine ninety nine. Um, I'm so confused because they said the game itself comes out on the fourth, and this was like their uh, 
early access or something but like so like is the game free to play like is no. the price changing so the, the version you bought was more the version that's playable now is more expensive oh so it's going to get a cut then when it comes out no 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 you you just bought like the big dumb edition oh i gotcha okay i gotcha and so you, like, you really to this so you think this water. is the best one it's... I well okay. In, is it, is it better? Of, is it better than? How do you feed blood to grandpa? I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is actually. I it, it just in terms of everything it does for you. Like I said, like it it doesn't. Once you die as a human, you're not out of the game. There's a resurrection machine that will bring back everybody that has died. Um, you can still play by playing these little mini games from like the '80s, which is like Whack a Clown or um, uh, I forget the name of the one that I absolutely hate. But you have to like there's like colored bl- bricks in um, like a nine by nine square, and as the your little thing moves around, you have to hit the colored brick. And um, as your indicator crosses over it, I can't think of what it's called, but I hate that game. But there's a bunch of little mini games in there that allow you to earn items to give to other survivors. So you're still actively playing, um, which is nice. Um, the it's, it's it's pretty simple. Like there is no level up system in this. There's no perks. Apparently it launched. It did have all that at one point, um, but they told us they, they pulled all that out. Um, because it, it just became too cumbersome. So I, and I like that for this. There's no, like, you know, you know, every human can do, like, there's <clears throat> classes which will affect, like, your stamina and health and stuff like that. But there is no, you know, perks where, like, I can super run or I can do this or do that. So it's it's pretty straightforward. Like, I don't know. I, I think this is the best version of these asymmetrical multiplayer games, multiplayer games that is out right now. <clears throat> but that's just me. Um... I played some Chivalry 2 because they had an event going on. That game remains well. And I think it was free on uh, the Epic Store for a while. So hopefully y'all picked that up. Nobody Chivalry uses that store. Free game. Yeah, I, I know. I use it free I, I game. Picked it up. Yeah, did I you? picked yeah, it I did up too. And, yeah, for free. Mm-hmm. I did too. Even though I got it on Xbox. But yeah, I, I go on there only for their free stuff. For real. I don't think I've ever bought it. Oh, that's a lie. I bought, um, what's that PS5 game? that came out with the it was like destiny but with melee combat godfall that's what it was godfall oh god that game sucked yeah yeah <laughs> but it was only it was only possible with the power of the ps5 until it came out right. for xbox until it came and out. ps4 right. yeah yep. that game fucking sucks yeah it yeah it kind of kind of did suck but that game is the epitome of a launch ass launch game facts facts yeah it came and went too the concept i thought was cool because you know i love me some melee combat like i love that shit but it just nah that that yeah. wasn't that wasn't it <laughs> um <clears throat> i played uh all oh, the other game i play i haven't gotten too deep in this but i actually like this one um this indie rpg called aster blade of the monolith so i i thought that it was going to be souls like because you know everything, everything is is yeah but it's not. It's it's a straight up action RPG, and I was like, "Thank you, God." Um, <laughs> I I love the art style. Like the character has like a wooden mask kind of thing, and it's got this uh like these two big like white eyes. But like everybody has these kind of like that's their faces um, of the characters that I met. Like it's it's really unique. Um, and for an indie game, like when they do the close up shots, like it looks really good. Like the textures and stuff, you can see the fabrics and the wood, the wood grain and stuff on the mask. I was like, damn, all right. Um, but I, again, I'm not super far, just kind of got to the, the first save point after the, after the initial tutorial and stuff. But I'm excited to jump back into it because definitely combat is cool, uh, fast and fluid. Um, you know, I saw they have, you know, skills and stuff that you can level up. So, yeah, definitely my jam. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, speaking about something that's not necessarily... Oh, you in the zone. Okay. Not necessarily my jam. <laughs> is, uh, I didn't know it was going to make a fucking sound. <laughs> it did not. No. Lords of the Fallen. Um, I played that because it hit Game Pass. And, you know, this is this is the game that Jeff Keighley told us that everybody had been waiting on uh, forever. Not me. I haven't been waiting on it because I didn't like the first one. But this isn't bad. Um, yeah, my son's been playing it. He he seems to enjoy it. It's a good oh, cool. game. It's just yeah, just is what it is. You know, it's one of those. That's what I was gonna say. Yep, 
it is it just is what it is but i yeah i actually may um i may finish it i i, I dig it i actually talked to my son to download it because i saw it has co-op like normal co-op unlike the cumbersome elden ring co-op like you can play it start to finish with somebody but the it's like uh redfall whereas like the host world is the only one that progresses so if you're in somebody's party playing your character and level and stuff you take back with you but like you know if you if y'all got to the last boss and you go back to your game you start at the beginning you know what i mean stop so doing that. Like that stop it. i wish they would god i wish they would i i don't understand um but yeah, so I'm I'm actually looking forward to going back and trying that. Um, I get that I get that game confused because like it came out around the same time as the the second what was that Remnant from the Ashes game. Mm-hmm. Yep. And like those are the two most like I want to be a thing, but I'm not the thing games. <laughs> right. <laughs> Remnant 2 is actually really good. Like, I, I, actually, I, I finished that game. I finished the first DLC, and I think they just dropped another one. I'm going to go back and, and check. I, I like Remnant a lot. Um, yes, it's one of those games, but the difference is, is it's a shooter, really, at the end of the day. So instead of having to, you know, use swords and axes and stuff, you really are using guns. There is melee weapons, but it's, it's all about ranged combat um you know and dodges and they have different classes and hidden stuff like i i don't know i i dig remnant they that game is good um it just you know it is what it is it's a roguelike you just have to know or uh souls born souls like whatever the fuck you know what i mean um multiverses played some of that uh listen, uh... Man, listen. i know i know it's so, so here's bad. what i here's what i found it is the if you play the 1v1 um it works a hundred percent better. I I don't have the timeout like the desyncs thing where I, the match gets canceled because everybody's jacked up. Um, I don't have the frames dropping issues or any of that. Like it it works out way better with one v one. Two v two is just fucked. Um, but like what 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 was the year for? That's what I was gonna say because it's crazy to me that this game right now in 1.1.0 feels more like a beta than the beta did. Like, I, what the fuck? Like, these issues that this game is having never had this problem <laughs> when the beta came out. Like, I, I didn't have the frames dropping and, you know, the game stopping in the middle and then, like, when it restarts, my character's over here. Oh, I'm dead because, you know, I, I had no control over that. Like, it's... I, None of this ever happened. And they I, I slowed it the fuck down. Yes! Like, and I went back and was watching, like, some streams of people, like, videos of people playing the, the beta, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what focus testing they did that was like, nah, we need to reverse all of this. But that game was fine where it was at. Yeah, it had declined as far as gameplay, you know, people playing it, but that was because they stopped with, um you know, the releasing of stuff and content. Now they have all this different content. They have the single player thing with the riffs and all this different stuff. But then you can't even play the shit online because you get disconnected or you get freaking uh, losing frames until you just die. Like it's, <sighs> I don't know. I want this game to, I want this game to be a thing because I like, I, I don't like, I like the combat and stuff and I like the characters, Um, but damn. And I think they switched scope because remember initially this was supposed to be on everything, even mobile devices. I've heard no word of of mobile stuff anymore, so I kind of feel like they've axed all that stuff, and now it's just a console game. I I don't, I don't know, know, man. I played it. I played the, the Shaggy tutorial. I played a match or two in the single player, and I was like, this sucks, and I just deleted it. I'm like, I don't even care. I got you. I don't know. It's they, so, and then I did see on, on X, or Twix, excuse me, because fuck that, I ain't calling it X. I did see on Twix that they um they actually were talking about some of the stuff the community said that they're going to go in, in reverse or fix, and the speed was actually one of them. So maybe they're going to revert it back to what it was, I don't know, but they, they had a list of stuff, and they was like, yeah, I guess everybody's complaining about it being slowed down. Um, I, I don't, well, they, are they going to shut it down for another year? No, I'm fucking done with this game. I that, don't, I don't man, care. That, Jesus, like I hope it's just a patch, but yeah, I and, and you know what? That's fair. Like I think a lot of people are where you are, where they just like, nah, 
Like you took my money and then you took the fucking product for a year and then you bring it back and it's worse than it was when I paid for it originally. Like how the fuck is that? What? So I, yeah, I, I feel it. But I, you know, it's I right to me. But that's you know, that's me. I, I play. I play, you know, a bunch of crazy stuff. Jump back into Monster Hunter Rise due to stuff that I'm can't talk about. But anyway, I play Monster Hunter Rise again. Um, that game is great. I, I made a sword, uh, a long sword build. Since Ryan said that's his jam, so it is my jam. I'm messing with that now. I'm just doing. I'm doing. Went back to some of the low rank hunts. Um, just to kind of practice with it and get some of the combos down. Man, if you put the skills on that to do like to increase the sheathing speed, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. I kind of I like the long sword. Like I've been, my main weapon was the the hunting horn, and then I played with the uh, the the bow guns, the light and the heavy. I think I like the the light just for the mobility. Um, but I, I dig the sword. The combos and shit that you pull off the swords, man, you do some massive damage. Like, shoot. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so jump back into that. Uh, excited for the new Monster Hunter. Definitely gonna pick that up, man. That game looks sweet. And you can take two weapons and switch? Yep. Hell yeah. I mean, it's it's already a dead game. It's a 30 frames a second. I see. <laughs> now that makes me sad. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna suffer through the 30 frames for Monster Hunter because... I'm a fan of this game now, so I'm I'm gonna be in there because it looks that looks incredible and mounted combat, so you don't have to you can like be riding on the back of y'all. I figure what it's called. It's you, you know I I kid I kid about the frame rate stuff, but Jesus Christ, Capcom! Every time you put out a game, do we need do we need another horny thing happening? Right, right. Like <sighs> I I don't man. I don't know. I think they just do it on purpose now. Oh, I think they do. I mean, cause that you know that helps the sales or sales and stuff. So I kind of feel like they do. I've seen so um, many people going nuts over that. That that that. I don't even know what she is in the game. She's a blacksmith. Yeah, like these people. Oh, just, is she? What's this going on? Like, oh my. Yeah, God. she was the she she was the blacksmith in the 3DS <clears throat> game, the last 3DS game. Is this one or a unite or whatever? Well, it's not confirmed, but and it's not even confirmed that it's the same character, but just a lot of the characters look very similar to characters in Four Unite. So okay. or Four, I think it's Four Unite. I can't remember what they gave the 3DS game some weird like uh, additional thing at the end, like they did with Freedom Unite for PSP. Got you. Okay. Yeah, because I I didn't play any of those. I've only played World and Rise, and I know this one looks way different than those two because this has like a desert setting and stuff like i mean it's or beautiful ultimate game. sorry ultimate not unite okay freedom unite okay. were the the ones on psp okay yeah i'm i'm looking forward to it um uh i think i think that's it i mean i you know i play a lot of i played some more home world i gotta get the review uh out for that um i played command and conquer three because um you know i i enjoy going to space <laughs> um and that game holds up too like the and i was actually surprised cuz the uh the full motion video stuff looks really good like i i don't know why i was expecting it to be you know like 4 or 3 and shit like it was on vhs or something but it looked like it was 4k i don't know if they upgraded or updated that or I mean, they had to. That game came out a long time ago. If that's not upscaled, then yeah. I got you. Yeah, it I, it must have been because it looks crispy as hell. Like that that game is, is good. Um, it crispy up as hell. Now. Yeah, man, crispy <laughs> as hell. <laughs> um, I think yeah, I think that's it though. I think I think that's all I played. I mean, I'm sure if y'all mention something, I'll jump in. But that's oh yeah, that's shit, it. that's funny. <laughs> All right, uh, Wombat, you want to tell us about your gaming endeavors? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, so I did play MLB The Show a couple days ago, uh, but apparently the 25 or 30 hours or whatever the hell I've got in that game was all wasted because apparently all my saves are corrupted, which is awesome. Uh, so I guess I'm done with MLB's show for the year. Um, go back to 23, I guess. Um, 
the outside of that, um, I played some Dragon Sogma 2. Not a ton, um, just a little bit. Um, trying to get myself back in the swing of that game. Um, I played uh, some Space Marine. Uh, awesome. Spice Marine on um, uh, Steam Deck, and it works perfectly on the Steam Deck. That game holds nice. up very well uh, for an Xbox 360 game. Um, um, it's it, it makes me even more excited for the sequel. Um, it's just kind of the perfect third-person shooter, kill a whole bunch of bad guys, move room to room and kill a whole bunch of bad guys kind of game. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I also jump back into Monster Hunter Rise, uh, and so I've been playing that on the Steam Deck uh, over the last couple of days, and it it works perfectly on the Steam Deck, which, again, I mean, it was originally built for the Switch, so uh, that's not much of a surprise, but it does look great um, and uh, plays perfectly on the Steam Deck, so um, I intend to play a lot more of that. I'm not very far because I hadn't actually played it on the Steam Deck the first time around. I played it on um, Xbox, so um, I'm kind of going back through and and getting stuff done. The one thing I'll say is I bought the version on Steam that also includes uh, Sunbreak. Nice. And mm. it gives you so much free shit. My God, uh, yes, it like, does. I mean, just an absurd amount of free shit. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, you don't need to create health potions or grill steaks or collect anything for, if you if you never wanted to, you wouldn't have to do basically anything. Yep. Um, and it, it gives you armor. Um, there's this black bell armor that it gives you, and it gives you a, like a lighter version of it and a heavier ver- or a, a stronger version of it that has, six, the, the higher version of it that it gives you has 66 defense which is way more than anything you'll be able to craft for a while. Um, so it's like it almost makes it almost makes the rest of the game feel a little um, I don't know worthless, not worthless. like like why am I why am I killing these this level of uh, monster when anything I make out of it, any armor I make out of it is gonna give me like, 10 defense and the armor they gave me for free has 66. Yep. Um, so it, it, uh, it just, I don't know. You don't have to use that armor obviously, but it's hard not to when it's there. Um, so yeah, it, uh, the, the, obviously you can make better stuff than that later on. Um, uh, but it, it does make the, the first part of the game feel a little frivolous. Um, but it's okay cuz i mean the game's still fun to play no matter mm-hmm. what so um but yeah i'm uh i'm digging that a lot uh so i'll i'll definitely keep playing that um keep playing some more dragon's dogma i haven't i didn't play any hell divers this week i haven't had a chance to play uh hell divers at all this week so uh but i'll i'll jump back into that when i have a chance i really want to play it with this event that's happening right now um but I, I haven't even had an opportunity to boot it up yet. So uh, hopefully at some point in the next couple of days, I'll, I'll get a chance to get in there and check out this new event because it's a pretty big one. And it's supposedly they they said this week that the basically all the events that we've done so far was basically just the prologue. Um, and this is kind of the kickoff of a, the, the sort of main story. So, um, oh, I must have missed that. OK. Yeah, so the new the new mission is do you remember we planted the or we we set up the um terminated control systems that was supposed to be like the pesticide yep. on Meridia. Well, <clears throat> and then they came back and said, "Oh, actually, it looks like the um the terminated control system is making them basically evolve and and uh grow rapidly and their populations mm-hmm. over swarmed the planet. Well, so now the new mission is to use this dark fluid um, and to basically you drill it into the ground and they're going to implode Meridia into a black hole. 
Um, oh. That's the mission, basically, to blow, to destroy the planet, um, to to basically get rid of this terminated super colony. Uh, and all of the conventional wisdom is basically that this is going to be this, you know, destroying a planet, creating a black hole thing is likely going to be the event that that leads to the third faction um, joining the game. So, yeah, definitely. And it, it, from what I've heard, uh, even on the lower difficulties, the mission is hard as hell. Um, but it does look like a blast. And um, it's bugs, it looks like right? It is bugs, yeah. Okay. And it looks like one of the few uh, really good uses I've seen so far for the um, heavy machine gun emplacement, where you can call down the emplacement where you sit in it and shoot the machine gun. Oh, yeah, I never uh, heard of that. Def- defending the uh, defending these like drillers seems to be a pretty good use of that weapon. So, okay. uh, yeah, I-, I definitely want to get into it and play it, but I just haven't had an opportunity yet this week. So. At some point, I'll get back into it. Um, but yeah, and I can't. That's not a game that I can casually play while I'm on the podcast. Because oh yeah, yeah, I, we tried that. <laughs> yeah, we tried that. It's, it's, <laughs> I get too into it, so I can't, yep. I can't do that. Um, you know what's a great? You know what's a great game to casually play while we're on the podcast? MLB nope. the fucking yep. show. <laughs> but anyway, uh. I have to see, I have to dig around and see if there's a way that I can get to more granularity on saves on the cloud where I might be able to delete one or two individual saves and still. I think you can only do all or nothing. See, that's fucking bullshit. That sucks. Yeah, they won't let you target a player. You're giving giving me 15, or like I have 15 individual save slots. So it's kind of bullshit that I can't see my individual save, save, uh, save games anywhere but in the actual game, which won't let me see them because it's fucked up. I think they've talked about adding that feature to where like you could manage your cloud saves, but I don't know that it's live yet. That's that sucks. But anyway, we'll we'll soldier on and uh just play other stuff from now on, I guess. Modern gaming, am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have this problem when uh the the show was only on PlayStation, that's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, uh, obviously Game Pass's fault. <laughs> for sure. Uh anyway, that's uh that's it for me. All right. Uh, let me think. Where do I want to start? I, Should we also I, let you clear your throat? Indeed. I will, I will do that. I do that a lot anyway, but yeah. <laughs> um, I went back and did the second ending for Stellar Blade, because you can, apparently that was patched in, because Jay was like, you can't do that. And I was like, you know what, before I start a new game, cl- new game plus, I'm going to try. I'm just going to load, continue, and sure enough, it let me make the choice at the end of the game, and I got to see the second ending. I was like, yeah. Look at that. Which the second ending was so much better than the first. I was like, shit, I picked the wrong choice the first time. Um, but I did... What's that? At least you get to pick it. I said at least you get to pick it the second time. I did, I did. Uh, and then I started a new game plus, and I might play some more of that game. Because that game was really good. Uh, and then I... So since they're dropping PS2 games, I decided to try premium for the month. So I'm going to check those PS2 games out on Tuesday, see how that emulator is. But um, I went and tried to stream some games just to see how they they were holding up. I was like, I'm a, I, I've am been craving some Hot Shots Golf on the PS3 recently. I can't play it on streaming. It's like that, that timing-based shot... Like I was, oh, hit, I was hitting yeah. shit in the rough and in the water, and I was like, "What the hell? God, that streaming game sucks. It just sucks so bad." Yeah, it's definitely not. It's not where it can be mainstream for sure. Like, no, whew. no, that 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 thing is bad. I'm like, I can't. No, I don't even know how this is a thing that you like. Like promote when you sell the premium service because this is awful. Right. Um, 
And since I had premium, I was like, you know what? I'm going to check out this Animal Well that everybody is talking about. It's a cool game, but I really don't like the, the pixel art style because everything gets lost when you're playing. Like, it's hard for me to see, um, like, areas that you can move to. Sometimes it's hard to see my character. It's very dark. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't... The visual representation was really turning me off of playing the game itself. Which, the game itself is fine. It's like a little Metroidvania kind of thing. Uh, with okay. a l- little bit of Fez thrown in there. Like, some, some cryptic shit that you gotta sort out puzzle-wise. Man, that art style just turns me off. Like it is just not. I just it just looks like somebody blew their nose on the screen. Like it's just messy. I don't know. Oh. I didn't care for it. Um, I also downloaded Dave the Diver and Ghost Runner because those are free on premium right now, but I haven't checked those out yet. So. And then what else did I play? I played Horizon Chase Two which is still awesome and still kind of totally unfair, which is what those arcade racers are. Because, like, one mistake and you're dropping ten places in the race, and it's very hard to catch back up. I mean, you can because the it's got that rubber band AI, but still, like, one little mistake of hitting the side of a wall drops you back ten places. It's kind of frustrating. But it's still fun if you like... You know, those old arcade racing games like OutRun and... Oh, what else am I trying to think of here? Uh, shit, I don't know. You, you If you know OutRun, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first Horizon Chase was great. I haven't played the second one. Yeah, it's the same thing. Same kind of principle. You know, do some races, earn some coins, unlock some stuff. It's it's fun. It's fast. It's just a, It's just a lot more of the same. Um, speaking of more of the same, Phantom Fury, which is a sequel to Ion Fury, which was very much like, you know, you call it a boomer shooter, but it, this is more Duke Nukem than Doom kind of thing, where it's like the visual style is more of that. It's a little faster than Doom. It's fine. I had some fun with it. Uh, was this a sequel? Did you play the first one? Yeah, I did play the first I liked the first one a lot. Um, I don't know okay. that I like this one as much as the first one, but it's a lot of the same kind of principle. Gotcha. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing up on my list of games that I played, but I played another game called uh, Project 13. And Project 13 is a PT-like, where you're walking through the same room and things change. But I walked through the same room ten times and I didn't see anything change. So I don't... And the control is weird. Like, you ever play one of those first-person games where when you move the camera, it kind of keeps moving, like it's real floaty? Yep. This game has that, like your character kind of wobbles when they move. It's just, I don't know, it feels weird. And nothing happened after, like, walking through the room ten times. Like, I I didn't didn't get it. Um, I tried to play another game called To the Sky, which was... To the Sky... You're literally just a dude that's trying to climb high, and it's... Like, grow up? Eh, kind of, except this thing is janky as fuck, and, like, not in a good way. Okay. And it's, like, the engine is broken, so, like, when you load in, you get that very blurry, my textures haven't loaded look to it yet. And it takes a while before the textures finally load in. Like, a long time. So, I don't know. It just, it feels bah. I started up Sandland last night. I think I'm going to dig that. Um, yeah, it's a good, great game. Yeah, like, I, I think that's my next game that I kind of start playing through a little bit at a time. And I'm going to shock you. They dropped that patch for Redfall, so I went back. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of into it now. Really? It's good. I might check it out. Did you do a Vampire Nest? Yeah. By myself. Oh, 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 shit. I'm going to install. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's a new difficulty um, that's, like, super easy. So I'm trying that. Like, because since I'm running solo, I'm like, I don't want it to be hard. Uh, yeah. And that um, game is difficult. And I, it's so much easier on that difficulty. <laughs> like, 
I'll uh, install it because yeah, that was my. I could not complete the nest. Like every single one, I got killed in. Oh like, no, I've I completed hard. I've completed three or four nests in the first map. Nice, like okay. no problem. Also, you can play it offline. Oh, nice! You can just turn it off. Like I've I've set it in the menu options to always boot into offline mode, and every time it boots up, it's like you don't have access to your friends list. I'm like motherfucker, ain't nobody playing this. You're right. I don't need my friends list. Not that I want to play with my friends in this game anyway, because whoever's the host gets to go, and everybody else, fuck right. you. Yep. But no, I'm 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 digging it. Like I play like a couple missions at a time, and it's I'm having fun in Redfall. What's what's this? Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna have to reinstall it. Yep. So yeah, I think Sandland and and Redfall are gonna be my games I play for a little while. I'm, I'm having fun with both. And I think that might be it. I did play some, some retro games. I booted up uh, Smuggler's Run just to, to have some PS2 launch vibes going on. Say, I remember that game. Like, it really is just of that era where it's like, here's a big ass open world, just go drive in it kind of shit. That game is pretty fun. I booted up some Looney Tunes racing game on the PS2. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to round out. And and just for shits and giggles, I'm going to round out the PS2 launch feeling vibes and just boot up Summoner. That Don't do that. Don't do that. No, don't do that. That game sucks. I was going to ask. I, I was going to ask if you played the Bouncer. <laughs> No, the bouncer. I, I I keep meaning to go back to it and play it eventually. But like I was I was doing some launch vibes. I I, I looked at Orphan and Evergrace a couple of times. I'm like, no, nah, I shouldn't do that. You remember Orphan? Oh, no, man. You don't want to yeah. play either one of those. No, <laughs> no, you don't. Orphan Scion of Sorcery. Oh boy. Yeah, yep. Oh man. Uh, I don't I don't not, remember. Not, not a good game. Don't remember how bad most of the PS2 launch lineup was. Yeah, it, w- it wasn't great. It was not great. So, all right. Uh, let's talk about what's out this week. It is, it is a very big week. I was just looking over the schedule um, for the the E3 stuff. You know that shit starts on Friday. Yes. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. So Keeley's thing is the first thing. It's Friday at five o'clock. And then, like, they do events all through the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all have events. Actually, Monday, too, because Ubisoft being Ubisoft, they go Monday. So it almost feels like E3. Almost. Almost. But what video games can we play while we're waiting for the shows to start? Well, on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, you can play Dead by Daylight Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Destiny 2, The Final Shape, Downward Enhanced, Killer Clowns. Yeah, downward, downward is a great game. Yep. This no, the... down, Downwell is what I'm thinking of. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Downwell was a cool game. Yeah. Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game. Democracy 4, Console Edition. Ghost Teen, Escape from Limbo. Magazine Mogul, uh, Pocket Stables, The Smurfs Village Party, Grappin, Pombero, The Lord of the Night, and Riders Spirits. Riders Spirits. PlayStation 5 is exactly the same thing, except you're getting Rocks, uh, Rocksmith Plus, uh, Tour de France 2024, and V Rising. Complete edition is out this week for PlayStation 5. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, it's pretty much the same stuff. Not as much um, as we finally, four years in, are starting to get away from those consoles. And then the Nintendo Switch, we got here. We've got (laughs) Broadsword Warlord Edition. Uh, Sculpt People Famous Edition, Sticky Hands, <laughs> The Cat. Sticky Hands. Sticky right. Hands. That's what you get from playing some of these Switch games. 
Uh, the cat, Mars Col Colonization Expedition Survival Simulator. Oh, it's a mouthful. Kite, 64. Ultra Mission. Wakase. Uh, Star Wars Hunters is finally coming out on the Switch this week. Do, 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 do. Cat That's Pipes. A good game. <clears throat> It'll be on mobile, too. Yeah, it's it's on mobile and Switch, which is I don't know, it's just weird. It's not coming in. I know it, it is weird because it if they put that on other consoles and other places, that game will do well. Like it's free to play. It's a solid, um, like a kind of Overwatch esque, but the matches are short. Like any, I mean, it's fun. Like it, they should put it on other places. Sorry, go ahead. I don't know if you know this, but the Overwatch community on Switch is very bad. Oh well, yeah. That game, that game doesn't run at sixty on the Switch. Just I don't know why they even put it on Switch if they couldn't get it to run at sixty. Like, I, can you imagine? Because other? they have to play with with Xbox and PlayStation people. That's not fair. Like how? <laughs> that's what I was saying. Like I was wondering if the Switch only played with Switch people. Nope. So they got to play with people that's playing at sixty and one hundred and twenty frames. Mm-hmm. Damn. Okay. Well. Good luck. Uh, what else we got here? Fading Afternoon, Garage Bad Dream Adventure, High Score Anomaly Underground, Let Me Sleep, My Rummy, Rainbow. Let Me Sleep. Yeah, sounds, sounds like, like an... being sounds like being the parent of a toddler. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. It's a, yeah, it sounds like the the diary of an old man. Let me sleep. That too. Uh, Rainbow Diamonds, Seven Days, Zombie Derby, Airhead. I like. What are you even doing on the Switch anymore? Like you just throwing shit to the wolves, man. Like, nobody will remember ninety percent of these games tomorrow. It's crazy. You're right. Anyway, let's do some news. It was it was a surprisingly big week. Um. We'll start with Xbox. We'll get to the PlayStation State of Play. We'll go through that um, when we get to the PlayStation news. We'll start with Xbox. Rumor, Doom of the Dark Ages, previously known as Year One, will be revealed at the showcase on the 9th. Uh, and it will be cr uh, all platforms, not just Xbox. It's apparently a medieval-inspired Doom world, so you could have just made Hexen. Yeah. <sighs> Phil even wore the shirt. Oh, that's right, he did. Yeah, <laughs> like let's just, just let's just make Hexen. What are you doing? Uh, Microsoft confirmed that Call of Duty Black Ops Six will be playable on Xbox Game Pass uh, and PC Game Pass and Ultimate, and also the price will not be different. It will just be available in the service. Uh, Xbox is rumored to have reportedly signed a deal with Hundred Stars' first AAA single-player action game. Uh, they were founded by the former Rocksteady developers, uh, headed by Sefton Hill and Jamie Walker. That is a very good get, if true, because those are the guys that probably <laughs> left halfway through Suicide Squad because they were like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, nah, this ain't what we want. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. I hope they, uh, I'm excited to see what they come up with. Yeah, I uh, hope it's really cool. Uh, Redfall's final patch is out now. I just talked about that game a little bit ago. It's playable offline. They added a bunch of uh, tweaks and things to make the gameplay better, and they did. I'm having fun in that game now, finally, and it's sad that that studio is gone. Uh, Fallout 76 surpassed 20 million downloads, up from 17 million last December, thanks to the TV series. Uh, Toys for Bob has officially announced they're partnering with Xbox for their next game. It's still in very early development. And Zenimax workers are now covered by Microsoft's labor neutrality agreement with the CWA. So at least there's good news on that front. Yeah. Uh, the Legend of Zelda The Great Deku Tree is releasing September 1st. Uh, it's a Lego set, 2,500 pieces, 299.99. So this Lego set will cost you more than a Switch Lite? Yes. That's wild. Yep. It probably absolutely runs games better, and though. And completely absurd. <laughs> it probably runs games better. 
Uh, all right, PlayStation business update. Uh, half of PlayStation's monthly active users are on PS4. We already knew that. PC day and date for games as a service title, but single player games will be later. So they did not learn their lesson. PC gamers are very patient. Uh, that is evident from Kingdom Hearts. So if you're thinking PC players, m most of them are not going to buy a console. They'll just wait. Spider-Man 2 sold 11 million copies and Helldivers sold 12 million copies. <laughs> That's crazy to me. That yeah. is crazy. Wow. Yeah, Spider-Man got outsold by Helldivers. Fucking bananas, Dang. man. And Helldivers cost, what, like a tenth of what Spider-Man mm -hmm. cost? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, and they've even, and now, um, which is good, I'm glad, Sony is committing additional resources to Helldivers. It's good, because yeah, it's going to keep making them money. I think Spider-Man's yeah. fizzled out. So yeah, so awesome. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad they're doing that because those devs deserve that additional fund. They definitely do. Uh, PS5 is the most profitable generation to date. This always comes with a caveat. Like, of course it is, because you know game prices went up ten dollars yeah, at minimum. Fucking so, expensive as shit. Yeah, and DLC's gone up in price. Like, of course they're the most profitable. But I, I don't care if they're the most profitable. Like, I'm not yeah, making any money off that. Yeah. Right. Uh, more than 50% of the PS Store revenue comes from black hole games. <laughs> black what does hole that games? mean? What is like like game? forever games, like Fortnite, like uh, Roblox. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Uh, Sony removed Neil Druckmann's interview uh, and apologized to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, Sony is certifying an adapter for PlayStation VR 2 to work on PC, which is good news. Uh, the PlayStation Days of Play sale uh, is going on from May 29th to June 12th. Lots of good deals out there. Uh, PlayStation Plus, uh, in the coming weeks we're getting Dredge, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, Cricket 24, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the definitive edition. PlayStation 2 games. Uh, uh, they're actually finally putting PlayStation 2 games out here. We got a new emulator. Tomb Raider Legend, Star Wars The Clone Wars, and Sly Cooper The Thievius Raccoonus. I joked on Twitter that, you know, three down, 4,372 to go. Right. <laughs> also, why start with Star Wars The Clone Wars? Like, I yeah, was just different. about to say, that's a weird, like, I mean, what the hell? Sly is great. But oh, Sly I, is I'd perfect. Much rather, I'd much rather they put the rest of the Sly Cooper games on yeah. than... Yeah, like Tomb Raider That's Legends a good game, Wars. but I don't need to revisit that on the PS2. No, nah. nah. like that game came out on 360. One of, the first, one of the first PS2 games you would put on there, like right? I don't know, it's just it's just weird. You would think if you were going to put PS2 games on there, you would put like PlayStation franchises. Yeah, God of War, like right, something Ratchet and Clank, yeah. right. Like I, I can I can forgive Jack because Jack already exists in another collection. Like I get that one. But like there's so many first party PS2 games that you're not doing, it's just crazy. Yeah. Uh PSVR games are also coming to PlayStation Premium with Ghostbusters, Walkabout Mini Golf, Synth Riders Before Your Eyes, and The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, chapters one and two. And your new essential okay. games. Will be SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake, AEW Fight Forever, and Streets of Rage 4. Well, oh, good month. Oh, the new one? Yeah, that Streets of Rage game is fire. That soundtrack is great. All right, let's go through the state of play that happened this week. Uh, Sony didn't say anything for a long time and then just put out a state of play. It's 14 games, lasted 30 minutes. Uh, I started to worry. At the beginning, because they showed Concord for a long time. And didn't they? <laughs> that CGI movie was like, what, like four to five minutes? Yeah, it was It was yeah. long. It was long. And then they showed the game, and I'm like, huh. Yeah. That's an Overwatch. Overwatch. 
Mm -hmm. It yep. is Overwatch. I'm a mess with it. Well, actually, no, I'm not because I think it costs. I don't think it's yeah. So that it. that was another comment that came out of this. That is not a free to play game. Yeah, no, nah, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Like they're probably gonna try to charge you seventy dollars for this game. Oh, you know they are. You know they are. Uh, no. No, I'm 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 not paying seventy dollars. Like even Overwatch when it came out was not seventy dollars. Right. It was a budget mm -hmm. title, quote unquote. It was forty dollars. Yep. <sighs> yeah. No, I'm cool. I'll probably because I'm sure they'll have like a beta or something like that. Like I'll check it out, but I'm I'm not gonna spend money on that because it, you know, I, I want to try it, but I no, nah, I ain't gonna spend seventy on it. Yeah, they yeah. spent a lot of time on that game. Which is weird. Um, well, let's go through what else was in there. Where Winds Meet is an epic wuxia open world action adventure RPG set in ancient China. Yeah, I mean it kind of kind of looks like the um, sort of uh, wire fighting kung fu mm -hmm. movies. Is this the free to Project is this the free to play Dragon. one? Which one's the free to play? No. Okay, so it's a different no, one. No, that's okay. the other one. That's gotcha. the uh the other one, yeah. Uh Infinite Nikki is an open world dress up adventure coming to PS5. Yeah, I, I was so what, confused about that. I don't know that. what that is. That looks terrible. You know what right? I think it, you know what I th like so I heard somebody explain it really well. It's uh Princess Peach for anime. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Cuz yeah, I didn't understand what that was. I'm like, um I guess it's just not for me, is what it is. No, it's definitely it. definitely not for me. Uh, Ballad of Antara is the one I was thinking of. That's a uh, free-to-play fantasy action RPG coming to PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. It looks good. And I was, when they said it was free-to-play, I'm intrigued because it doesn't look like the the normal free-to-play kind of um, the Genshin Impact type games. Like It looks like it's a little deeper than that, but we'll see, I guess. Uh, Dynasty Warriors Origins. That looks good. I mean, we, we're prophets. We talked about this on the show last week. We did. We did. Fucking Dynasty Warriors is back, and it looks like it's the old Muso just mm -hmm. fighting everybody. Not yeah, enough fog in the trailer for me, though, truthfully. <laughs> uh, Marvel Rivals was, a, was announced for consoles. Obviously PS5, uh, but it also is coming to Xbox as well. Yeah, that beta test is on is everywhere in July. It's not just on PlayStation. Which but this was a no brainer. Obviously, they're going to put this on consoles. So, yeah. Uh, Alien Rogue Incursion is the new PSVR game. Um, Silent Hill Two was shown, which the trailer looked like shit. <laughs> Look, no, like I've never played the Silent Hill games. Uh, well, I played the first one. I didn't play the second one. Um, but no, no, I won't be playing this one. It did not look. What's wild. crazy is like that trailer looked bad, but if you watch the gameplay, the gameplay actually looks okay. It's Was still... it separate? Yeah, so there's a 13 minute gameplay. I posted it in the Discord this week. There's a 13 minute gameplay video of somebody playing through some sections of the game. It looks okay. It looks a lot better. That trailer looked so bad. Yeah. Maybe it was early or something. Maybe they, that was like early footage. But then why would you put that out? Because it... God. I, uh, yeah. I'll watch the gameplay. I'll look at it. Yeah, the gameplay looks a lot better. It still is... And I don't trust Bloober. I, I, I well, haven't trusted yeah. Bloober in a long time. Uh, Monster Hunter Wilds, which I know everybody except for me is excited about. That's Hell yeah. It's coming out in 2025. Path of Exile 2 is coming to PlayStation as well as Xbox, but obviously it wasn't announced for Xbox here. It'll be um, free to play, and I think it's going to be early access on PlayStation at the beginning. It also looks really good, too. I'm I sure like it's good, but like all you got to do is show me a picture of the skill tree in that game, and I'm immediately like, nope. Yeah, that you won't. Yeah, because the, the skill tree is bananas in that first one, but it's because you have so much like freedom over how you build your character. That's why it's so big. But I, I feel it. It is definitely overwhelming. Uh, Skydance announced Behemoth, which is another PSVR 2 game. Those were the only two VR games in the in the showcase, and I think those... I heard somebody put it pretty perfectly that like those were probably things that were signed a while ago, because I really don't think 
Sony's too big on PSVR 2 right now. I don't think they are either. I mean, I think still $550 and nobody's buying it. Yeah, right. no, it's that's an absurd price. Yes, sir. I mean, the tech in it's great. Like, it's... Oh, yeah, I'm not it, saying it's not worth it, but who in their right mind has $550 spent no. on a VR headset right now? Yeah, especially when uh, uh, you can get a Quest 3 for a lot cheaper than that. Yep, it's yep. all about money right now. Like, people bring up these things like, why didn't this movie do well? Because it cost $50 to go to the goddamn theater. Exactly. That's why, and everybody's pushing back on the why we can't have the day and date on streaming. Nigga, everybody ain't got $50 to go see a movie. Like, most of us, we just wait for it to hit the streaming sites or come out. Yeah, Godzilla Gosh. dropped this weekend on Netflix, and if you buy it, it's only $15. Man, I'm watching it tonight. Yep. I'm so excited. Did you see it already? Did no, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it tonight. So yeah, I'm I'm so excited. I can't wait. <clears throat> but yeah, I waited. Like I don't go to the theater because <clears throat> if like I go to the theater, just two people is a quick forty bucks. Man, listen, and you already know I got five kids, man. If I go to the theater, I'm paying fucking three hundred dollars. Yep. Like fuck that. I ain't got <laughs> that. I ain't got that kind of money. That's like we talk about this all the time. Like money's such a huge thing. And like Sony talking about releasing a PS5 Pro this year, motherfucker, who are you gonna sell that to? Right. Right. I guess the the streamers they gonna give them all out to them because I ain't fucking buying one. I can't afford that. I just got my tax bill from my house. Like, shit. no, I can't. That is too expensive. I think this will be the first console I skip. Is like, I, I just Dang. I can't do a six seven hundred dollar console. Ain't no ain't no way. I'm hoping and praying the Switch Two don't come out at some crazy price like that because I really want one of them. Like, I'm oh, I'll, I'll buy price. that one. I'm expecting that one to be four hundred. That's my guess on that one. That's where I was guessing too, actually. All right, moving on. Uh, the next one up is Until Dawn. That's coming out this year. Like we don't need it, but okay. Well, it's coming to PC. I don't think it ever came to PC. Oh, well, that's fair. But like, we don't need a PS5 version. Nah, nah, they need to do all of that. Uh, speaking of PC, God of War Ragnarok was announced for PC, and by the way, requires PSN. <laughs> so there's what? Why, 100, though? 117 countries that can't play it. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Nope, that game is single player only. Yeah, that's what well, I thought. Well, yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It's. I, I understand from their perspective that they want people to sign up for PSN, but like there's no, there's not even a, a reason to justify it other than we want people to do it. Mm-hmm. So, which I mean, yeah, it's whatever. If they, yep. If they want people to do it and want to ask people to do it. That's their prerogative, I guess, but don't be surprised when a whole bunch of people don't. Yep. Exactly. And so a whole bunch of people can't. Right. Yo, yeah. Right. I mean, that's the, that's the second piece. And then they capped the show off with um, Game of the Year. Can we call it? Can we call it Game of the Year? I'm gonna call it Game of the Year. Astrobot <laughs> is back. This it game looks look cool. so good. It yeah, looks. Yeah, it does look awesome. I can't so wait. Cool. I want to know what it's gonna cost. So it, the pre-orders go live this week. Um. I'm going to have this conversation because I heard it on a podcast yesterday. Somebody was hoping the game was going to be $70. And I'm not what? saying that the game is not worth $70. 100% I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. But hoping that it's $70? It doesn't make any sense. Like, these kids today, man, like, I don't understand. Like, why is it that, oh, yes, I, I really want to give this company all of my money for this product like i what, what? that game could be just as great as it looks and, st- and be 40 dollars. like why does it have to, why do you hope for more money like like they use the comparison that hi-fi rush should have been more expensive that would have made it more successful i'm like no no it's not how business works okay well all right no yeah. like if it's 70 dollars, i probably would still buy it because it's astro i'm not gonna lie but I don't hope for it. Like I don't hope for anything to be more expensive than I want to buy it for. Right. <laughs> like, why would you? Why would you? 
Why can't you... Please oh. raise the price of the Big Mac. I don't feel like I'm paying you enough for this mediocre sandwich. Right. <laughs> That's exactly how it comes across. Like, I just, oh, I, I want to give you more money. Like, y'all are weird. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, goodness. There's a lot of release info on here. Do I want to dig through this? Let me see. here. I'm just going to pick some highlights here, if there's any. Like, yeah, I, even... I am I am pleased, by the way, that, that Sony seems to be um, doubling down on Astro as a mascot. He should be the mascot, 100%. He should be, 100%, yeah. Give me all, like, Parappa was in the trailer. Like, yep. You remembered he exists. Thank you. Yep. No, most of these. There was these... even uh, uh, the, the, there was even a, a a picture of a robot with the Bloodborne hat in it, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, people were pissed about that because we still haven't got a Bloodborne remaster. Yeah, I didn't even see that, but I didn't play that game, so I wouldn't have called it anyway. I think Bloodborne was in the free one, right? I think it was. In like PlayStation Plus. The the Astrobot that came on the PS5. Oh, I don't I don't remember. I think he was. All right. Um, they're they're making a Just Cause movie, and it's from the guy who directed Blue Beetle. Okay. Um, Blue Beetle wasn't bad, but hmm. Okay. Not everything needs to be a movie. Nope. Exactly. Like, and that's, we got to get out of his mindset. Like, they feel like everything needs to be flipped into a movie and it doesn't. No. I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to get hate for this, because I love Just Cause 2. I think it's one of the best games ever too. made. Yeah. Just Cause doesn't need to be a game anymore. No. No, I mean, we're we're kind of past that at this mm-hmm. point. You know what I mean? Like, like who thinks about that uh, game and is like, yeah, I want to know what Rico Rodriguez is doing. Yeah, you yeah. and you know I don't think the fourth one so did that well. It wasn't I, very I mean, good. It would no, because I think <laughs> I have it, but I think I got it like it was on sale for like two ninety nine or something because it was one of those with all the DLC or whatever. And Isn't I, it I, I didn't Pass? even finish it. It might have been it? in Game Pass at one point, hundred percent. Might be out now, but yeah, I never even finished it. Like I, I finished the first three. I, I, I liked those games, but yeah, this one I was like, eh. The weather stuff was cool, but no, nah, I don't think we need Just Cause anymore. No. Uh, it Takes Two is now Steam Deck verified, supports Steam Friends, and is playable without the EA launcher. Launcher. That's cool. Launcher. Rocket EA launcher. launcher. Ass. Uh, Google launched over 75 games on YouTube. You can now play games like Angry Birds Showdown or Cut the Rope on a browser or mobile. It's rolling out for everyone in the near future. Son used to love cut the rope. Dude, I played the shit out of Angry Birds back in the day. My son loved cut the rope so much that he had a cut the rope birthday cake two years in a row. Holy shit. Wow. (laughs) That is that is definitely more cut the rope than anybody has ever cut the rope. Most definitely. Like, yeah, that man was a fan. The the biggest I mean I, I still think the biggest reason why he uh wanted to cut the rope birthday cake two years in a row is because it came with a little toy om nom. Um, uh, but yeah, he had a cut the rope birthday cake two years in a row. My son's had some strange birthday cakes. He, uh, <laughs> he loves cats. And uh, he, he saw we were at Kroger and he saw uh, that they had this thing where you can like put a, put a picture on the cake right yeah like an actual photograph and, uh, right yeah and the uh the example they had was a cat and he said he wanted that cake for his birthday and we're like okay well you know you can put a picture of one of our cats on it and he said no i don't want one of our cats i want that cat <laughs> so we, yeah. he had a picture of some random cat on his birthday cake that's right? like buy one of those Funny. photograph frames then, with somebody else's picture in it yeah he also had it. He also had that random cat on a birthday cake two years in a row. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Like, did you have to track down the original cat the second year? No, it was still the same example. The same example in the book. Like, Kroger's got that big book of, like, cakes and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It was funny because when uh, one of our friends showed up for his birthday party, she was like, What cat is this? (laughs) 
And we're like, it's the, the cat that he wanted off there. And she's like, does he know this cat? <laughs> Some just some cat. random ass cat from down the block, you know? Right. But he wanted it. That's the cat he wanted, so. Yeah. He just, just whatever. Yep. And it was it was cheaper to get the stock photo cat than it was to put one of our cats on there, so it didn't, didn't matter to us. Yeah, win win right there. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Remedy Games changes Twitter handle, profile pic, and banner. It's a hint for Alan Wake 2's upcoming DLC, The Poison Pill Entertainment, since 1995, Night Spring City. I never finished Alan Wake 2, so I don't know what that means. Uh, well, I don't know what it means in terms of because nothing in the game really talks about the. Well, I guess there's some, but yeah, that game is good. You should finish it. God damn! Did they ever fix the audio shit? That's why I stopped playing it. Oh, you know what? I do not know because that's right. I finished it because I had to review it. I'm not sure. I need to go back and see because that was that was a huge problem. Uh, No Man's Sky dropped another expansion called the Adrift expansion. Jesus Christ! Man, this game is crazy. (laughs) Yeah, I saw some memes of um, like cartoons of people. Uh, chasing Sean Murray, that's his name, right? Yeah, yeah, the main yeah. guy, yeah. Guy. Saying, won't, why won't you take my money? I mean, like, we will pay yeah. you. You don't have to keep putting out free content. Well, they're making a new game, right? Finally? Yeah, they are. It looks yeah. awesome, too. I hope it's good because, man, No Man's Sky is like crazy how long it's been getting updates. Like, it's just, it, that's like the ultimate. Um, you want to talk about. Um, I've an served example game. of well, you want to talk about an example of a company winning back uh, fan support, like because you remember how much people were complaining about No Man's Sky when it first came out. Oh, it was a disaster when the I game was, came I out. I was and, one of them. I was, one and of then them. Um, now it's like people who like that game are like fanatical about that game, mm-hmm. uh, and I, I haven't played it in like I don't know. 15 updates so i'm sure it's even better now than the last time i played it but uh they've made that into a genuinely very good game mm-hmm. um so i need to i need to boot it up at some point but um i'll probably pick it up at some point on steam uh I have it. Be awesome on the deck <laughs> yeah i have it on ps4 uh i have a physical copy on ps4 um but i, I would like to be able to play it somewhere other than that so um yeah I'll, I'll probably end up picking it up on steam at some point but uh they they've really they really turned that into an excellent game it's funny we 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 poked fun at them when it came out because they called it the forever game the last game you'll ever need remember that right mm-hmm. it, it kind of yeah it turns out it's true it's, it kind of might be true now <laughs> yeah if that's your jam there's plenty of that game to go around for sure uh, Amazon will publish Maverick Games' first open-world narrative-led racing game. Oh, that's a mouthful. Uh, on PS5, Xbox Series. I don't even understand that. It's like Fast <laughs> and the Furious, the game. Like I, I don't know. Um, there's, a, there's a decision point where you have to choose a brew, but they're all Corona. Um, Maverick Games was founded in 2023 by former playground people, so you know it'll at least be a good racing game. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, what the fuck is this? I oh. swear to God, sometimes, by the way, I just want to make this point. Uh, the the pawns in uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, generally speaking, have pretty good AI. Um, and sometimes the AI is just the stupidest, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm right now playing the game. I'm in a room. Uh, where we're fighting skeletons and there's like six giant explosive barrels and this mage won't quit casting the like fire spew spell <laughs> and it is just getting closer and closer to explosive barrels <laughs> every time. And then we right. go, uh, finally I make it out of that room without getting killed. We go into the next room and there's a regular barrel next to an explosive barrel. Um, and the night pawn that I'm traveling with just swings a big fucking hammer to try to break the little barrel and explodes himself with the 
uh, explosive one. Like sometimes they don't they don't pay great attention when there's explosive barrels nearby. Those are the kidding. moments that make Dragon's Dogma special. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Uh, Riot Games launches a Faker, an esport player signature bundle for around four hundred and fifty dollars, or you can get the cheaper bundle for two hundred and fifty dollars. How about I get neither bundle? About what? What is this? What is this for? What game? Uh, Do you know? Because I Valorant. I think it's Valorant. Valorant. Okay. I was gonna say the only Riot games. Anytime somebody says Riot games, I automatically assume it's Valorant, but because I don't know if they have anything else. But League of Legends. League of Legends. Oh, okay. That's their that's their bread and butter. Valorant is their. Like, does anybody actually play? Like, I know Valorant's probably got a community, but like, is it huge? Like. You know what's funny? The, the, the most, my most recent experience with Valorant is my son and his friends played it for a very, very short period of time. Um, but he still had it and the Riot Games launcher on his PC. And um, uh, he, when he bought Helldivers, so like, I he, know needed, going. he needed to get rid of something uh, to make room for Helldivers. And that fucking game is enormous. Like, I think it was like 80 gigs or something like that on his hard drive, mm-hmm. taken up by Valorant. Did you Did see? Like, uninstall yeah, it? let's get I rid of that. Uninstall it. I can't. Yeah, get we rid of we were laundry. able to. We were able to get rid of it. Um, I go. I don't remember now how we had to do it. There was like I had to right. look up online and follow instructions to get rid of this freaking thing. I yep. I looked up one and followed one set and it didn't work. And I'm like, damn, they just go forever stay on here because you're right it's it's huge and i can't i can't uninstall it and i don't want to play it because it doesn't use controller you can't use a controller support um and it's only on pc because my son and his friends played it for a little bit too but yeah that's their new hotness but league of legends is their you know bread and butter valorant's been around for a while legends so valorant's been around for a while weren't they talking about a console version at some point they were. It's it has been around for a while, but it's they haven't brought that up since. Um, like the when it first came out, like six months into its release, they were like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna come to console." But like you can't even use the controller on the PC version. So I don't I don't know if it's ever gonna make it to console. Um, but that's kind of like the League of Legends Wild Rift. That was supposed to be that was supposed to be their mobile and console version of the League of Legends game. It's on mobile. Still haven't heard about the console release. Riot doesn't do a whole lot of console games. No, they don't. This is well. This is you know their new, you know, kind of thing because they did that first thing where they had the other studio was it Riot Forge or something like that where they made like those games that I had reviewed like the um the Mage Breaker and stuff like that. Um, but then they closed that down and now they focus in on the league stuff. And it's funny because they sent out a uh um survey to me i guess to certain people and asked about what you wanted them to focus on and it was talking like if we wanted more anime like arcane and more you know character stories from the different people in the universe and stuff like that so i guess they about to start branching out remember that fighting game yeah i don't remember the name because it's stupid but yeah <laughs> like that that thing is never coming out either jesus right you want to talk about this year. You want to talk about crazy sizes? Did y'all see the 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 preload for Destiny: The Final Shape on Steam? Yes, I did. No. That's ridiculous. Two hundred and ninety nine gigabytes. Jesus Christ! What? All of the all of the installs are at least a hundred and thirty gigabytes, from what I saw. Like none of them are smaller than at least a hundred gigabytes on all the comp platforms. Yep. And I'm like, Christ. And what's funny is that, that that final shape takes a bunch of the game out. Yep. <laughs> Which is like, why is it so big if you reduce it stuff? Like, you take it stuff out. Destiny 2, if you know anything about like the technical back end of that game, it is just a mess. Like, I bet you Bungie is dying to to stop doing Destiny 2 and move on to Destiny 3. I, I believe it. Uh, which is funny, because like, not to bring up the the game that shall not be named, but Overwatch did this for Overwatch Two. Like they revamped everything and made it smaller. So I don't know why oh, Bungie never did that. The, the launcher, the, the launcher got yeah. smaller. Like Overwatch One ballooned up to almost like seventy gigs, and when they relaunched Overwatch Two, they dropped it down to like forty. 
wow, okay. Yeah, I don't know why they don't do that with uh Destiny cuz bruh, it's huge. Uh near mm. Automata version 1.1 A anime second season launches in July of 2024. I didn't even know there was a first season, to be honest with you. I, did, I didn't either. Uh do you remember when $400,000 worth of play dates were stolen after they got misdelivered? I saw this story. Somebody dumped yeah. them at a random restaurant, and now they're back. <laughs> yeah. A whole giant bunch of boxes of play dates just sitting there. You know what's funny about this? is like, Does this speak to the volumes of like whoever stole it was like, man, I can't sell these. Yeah, like, <laughs> I think that's what it was. They was like, fuck, I thought this was going to be like a Switch. I can't move these. <laughs> just dropped them all. Oh, man. Uh, all right, CD Projekt Red development team project split. Um, you guys might know this stuff. I don't know what this means. Polaris is now 407 devs. Orion That's is 50. New... So Pol- Polaris is the new Witcher game. Okay, uh, Orion has 56 people on it. I don't remember what Orion is. Is that the Witcher remaster? Uh, let's see, Orion. Uh, a CDPR. Uh, Project Orion is the code name for an upcoming official sequel to Cyberpunk 2077. So that one's very oh, early then. Very, very early. Uh, yeah. Sirius has 39 people. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Sirius CDPR. Uh, well, hold on. This says multi. Okay, multiplayer Witcher. Game. I was going to say, I think that's the multiplayer one. And this last one's got to be the Witcher remaster, which is Hadar. There's only 20 people on that one. How do you spell that? H-A-D-A-R. Uh, says new IP. Okay. Uh, the rest of it is split between shared services with 96 people, other projects 13, and Cyberpunk 2077, zero. Cyberpunk is done. Yeah, so here we go. This is straight from uh, CDPR's website. Those of you familiar with our strategy might remember that we have a lot going on at CD Projekt Red. Projects like Polaris, which is the Witcher franchise, Orion, Cyberpunk franchise, or Hadar, which is a new franchise. So, yeah, that... um, So Orion, I think, is the the Witcher sequel... Or Polaris, I think, is the Witcher sequel, because I think they said... That basically all develop well, not all, but the vast majority of development was switching to the next Witcher game. Mm. All right. Oh, Ubisoft Forward was dated for June 10th at 12 p.m., so that's the one on Monday. Uh, some Resident Evil rumoring. Uh, according to Dust Gollum, who is a huge Resident Evil leaker, he says Resident Evil 9 has been delayed to late 2025, 2026, uh, and that they are also working on a remake of Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil Code Veronica. IGN corroborated the story that the next two remakes are indeed Code Veronica and Zero, which means eventually we will get RE1 remade in the RE engine. So I, I want to know if people will take to Code Veronica now. Code Veronica has always been the black sheep of the family. Um. Yeah, I think with the with the remake they'll like it because I think Resident Evil Three wasn't <clears throat> wasn't always like you know, Resident Evil no. Three was basically the the Majora's Mask of Resident Evil games yeah. where they took all of the leftovers from RE Two and kind of made a game in a different style. Mm-hmm. And it was fine back in the day. The remake was pretty good, but like it's never been. It's never been heralded as much as like one, two, four, and five, and six, and all that. So, no. And Code Veronica was a bastard child because it was Dreamcast exclusive before it went to the PS2, and like everybody's like, "No, Resident Evil belongs on the PlayStation." Yep. I remember playing that on my Dreamcast. Good times. I imported it, um, because back then games came out in Japan like six months to a year before they came out over here. Yep. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I imported that one. I imported. Something. Might I still have all of my import Dreamcast games, including um, Godzilla Generations, which was. Damn. Ooh, that game so. Yeah, I ain't got none of mine. You probably still got the console too. Yeah, I bought I bought a Dreamcast from Japan in 
I think September of 98, like almost a year before it came out in the U.S. Oh, right. Yeah, I got the, like, that's what's up. I remember showing people Sonic Adventure, and they were just like, oh my god. <laughs> and now it's like, the, uh, oh my god. The, sport, the sports games were the games I remember really blowing my mind the first time I saw them on Dreamcast. I still believe. Oh, yeah. UK games? I yeah. still believe to this day that the Sega Dreamcast in North America had the best launch lineup of any system ever. That launch uh, lineup I, was I, so it's, good. It's it's hard to it's kind of hard to dispute that I think. Uh, I mean it it's when you start expanding it to first year, um, you could have an argument. Sure, but launch uh, day but itself. Launch day, yeah, it's tough. It's a tough one to beat for sure. I remember there were so many games that came out that day. Like, a little bit of everything. Like, Soul Calibur was there. Mortal Kombat was there. Two sports games. Both were incredible. Sonic Adventure. House of the Dead. Like, that launch lineup was fucking amazing. House of the Dead. Um, so, Private Division. We talked about them getting rid of... Um, what was it? Roll seven and the Kerbal Space Program people a couple weeks ago. Um, they've now terminated its publishing deal for Bloober's new game, Project C. And from what I saw this week, uh, 2K is basically just shutting down Private Division. Jeez, which sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, some numbers, X Defiant surpassed 7.6 million unique players in its first week after launch. I I still don't know what that game is. It's like Call of Duty, right? Mm-hmm. It's basically Call of Duty meets Overwatch. So it's a hero <sighs> shooter with Call of Duty kind of speed. Um, Jesus Christ. But yeah, it's not horrible. It, they need to fix some stuff, but yeah. I don't, I don't know. This is Ubisoft, right? That's the Ubisoft one. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because like the the heroes' abilities are all based around like their faction. So there's like a um, those recon phantoms. There's um, somebody from Far Cry, Splinter Cell, like the spies from Splinter Cell. Uh, there's something else. Oh, the um, Watchdogs, the hackers from Watchdogs, and then the upcoming ones like the Assassin's Creed faction is coming. Um, but yeah, they're basically just making factions off of all of their franchises and putting it in the game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's all I got to say about this. Okay. Right. I mean, I I, <laughs> uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 sold, uh, surpassed 3 million. That's a lot. Dang, that is a lot. <clears throat> yeah, it's good for, I mean, it's a lot for what it is. New trailer for College Football 25 came out. That looks really good. <laughs> Not yeah, lie. I'm hearing a lot. I'm not, I'm not gonna play it because I'm not a yeah, college. I, 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 I could give a shit about it, but it, it yep. I'm glad that it looks like it's gonna be good for all the people that have been waiting forever for it. Yeah. I wish mm -hmm. they, I wish they'd consider doing a college basketball, not EA, but. Uh, Tomba Special Edition launches August 1st. Uh, only coming to PS4, Switch, and PC. No Xbox version for that one. Tomba, the pink hair dude. Yeah, the pig, the pig stuff. Yeah. Yeah, wow, okay. Alright. Um, Bloodborne Cart, which has been renamed to Nightmare Cart, is now out, and it's free. That's cool. You can go play that. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, Godzilla came out, we know that. Hypercharge Unbox sold over 25,000 copies on Xbox in less than 24 hours. Good for him. I mean, him. that's pretty good for... Uh, uh, an indie game on that platform everybody says nobody buys games on. So. Yep. Tomb Raider The Legend of Lara Croft anime is coming October 10th. I saw the trailer. It looks, it's only like 50 seconds or something, but yeah, I'll watch it. Call of Duty X Gundam uh, is available June 5th, June 3rd and 5th, it looks like. That's... <laughs> I don't, I don't oh, they do just, I, they don't even care anymore, man. They just put whoever in the game. Yeah, like, I guess, fuck? 
It's, There's a Cheech and Chong skin, like Cheech, Cheech and Chong. Doesn't like, he hit like a like, blunt as like his like special kill or whatever? Yeah, or yeah, his assassination. Yeah, like it's wild. Like they just they just put everybody in Call of Duty. I mean, why not? You know, it's making money. Yeah, that Black Ops Six thing. <sighs> That'll be the time when I tune out of the Xbox showcase. I mean, it'll probably, I'll probably still have it on. But, like, it's Call of Duty. Like, I don't need to see a half hour about Call of Duty. Like, right, right. I mean, it's Black Ops, too. Black Ops are, you know, to me, are the better ones. Yeah, that's, that's um, always the, the better games. Like, so I'm sure right. I'll enjoy the campaign, especially the fact that I get to play it in Game Pass. So. Hell Yeah. <laughs> I'll just download the campaign. Like, Call of Duty lets me do that. It lets me pick what I want to download, so. Which is, I wish all those different, you know, the different teams did stuff modular like that so you can decide what you want to install. I bet you we have. big. I bet you we have all of the Call of Duties in Game Pass this time next week. I can see that. I bet that's an announcement in the the Call of Duty showcase or something. Mm Mm-hmm. I can see that, which is uh, cool. Cause I like to play Ghost. I never played that one. Uh, you, you, yeah, you don't need to do that. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. You. Ghost <laughs> is, is probably one of the worst games. That's what I heard. Like that's legit. The only Call of Duty. No, I never played World at War either because I was sick of World War Two at that point. But those are the only two Call of Duties I've never played. World at War is good. Ghost. I heard it was not I just so much. Was sick of World War Two. Gotcha. All right, I got one email and some tweets to go through here. Uh, Kurt sends in an email called Snossages. I don't know why it's called Snossages. I've read it. I, don't, I still don't know why it's called Snossages. Um, he says, in the grand scheme of things, Mass Effect Andromeda is considered by many to be a bad Mass Effect game, although ZTGD scored it an 8. However, if one has never played any Mass Effect games, would it be a decent place to start? Meaning if this didn't have the Mass Effect branding and the expectations that go with it, would it still be considered a bad game? I know at launch it had some technical issues, but I believe most of the major issues were patched the first few months after release. Uh, so, well, go ahead, Terrence. Well, I, you, nah, yours is probably going to be more in-depth than mine. I was just going to say no. I, I, I think that a lot of it, it did have a lot of issues at the beginning. But a lot of the negativity was that people was just like it didn't feel or they didn't feel like it was Mass Effect, like the first three, Um, even though it was very clear that they were doing something different. Like, I mean, the time frame moved ahead and all that stuff. But yeah. But go ahead. What you think? Yeah, no, I was going to say something similar. I think probably what what happened is the game. So the game at launch was worthy of criticism. Um. But that criticism was magnified because it had Mass Effect in front of the name. Um, it, it was though, and I, it's it's not a um, it's not a bad game by any stretch. It's a good game. Um, it is the weakest of the four. Agreed. Um, but it's it's a good game. Um, the the biggest problem I think that it has is the beginning of it is so fucking boring. Man, um, like it just the the start of that game is so boring, um, that I think a lot of people booted it up and um were like, nah, if this isn't gonna be at the level of the other three, then there's no point in me continuing to play this because it's boring. Uh, it does it gets better, um, uh, but it's not it's definitely not on the level of the other three for sure. As a standalone space RPG, um, it's pretty good, I would say. Um, but it, it's it's definitely the weakest of those three games. No, I agree. I, I enjoyed that game a lot, but as a Mass Effect game, it is bottom of the list by far. Yeah. Like, I I like that game quite a bit actually. So. All right, uh, some tweets here to go through. Matt writes in and says, Astrobot was great this week. Damn right it was. Um, hoping for some release dates from Xbox, maybe Spider-Man DLC, more info on Little Devil Inside, and the Plucky Squire. Does Nintendo have anything? Have a great week. Yeah, where's the Nintendo Direct? That's got to be coming soon, right? They'll probably announce it this week. 
God, I hope so because Nintendo doesn't really have anything with the Switch 2 not coming out till next year, so I'm really, 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 really hoping we're going to see those Zelda ports. I would love to play through Wind Waker or and or Twilight Princess this year. Like those are two of my favorite Zelda games. I love those games. And yeah, what happened to the Plucky Squire? I need I need that game like yesterday. Same. Like I put it on my wish list on the Xbox because I they added a wish list thing. I didn't realize that. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that one. It's exciting. I, I love E three week. I, I absolutely do. It is it is my game of Christmas. And all of you negative Nancys out there on Twix being like marketing shut the fuck up. I don't like you. <laughs> I mean, you're not I wrong. Like you. It is fun. I, I I like E3 week too for sure. Like yeah. It's you know. Wonder if Microsoft's gonna destroy another company this week with a shadow drop. <laughs> oh <Perhaps>. lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, Shogun says rolled credits on Hellblade. Uh, I don't understand the hate. The game story was deep. Gameplay was just enough. And who would want 50 hours of voices? I would go crazy. Um, Sony Showcase was okay, but Sony's output is sad. Guardians of the Solar System looks okay, but not worth 70 bucks. I think Guardians of the Solar Guardians System. of the Solar <laughs> System. <laughs> it totally felt like we have Guardians of the Galaxy at home. It did, but that was good. Guardians <laughs> of the Solar System. Oh, man. Uh, that game is weird. I don't... Uh, yeah. I don't know what they're thinking with that. It's like, hey, let's make Overwatch, but let's make you pay for it. And maybe probably not as good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, I I yeah. When it for, yeah. when the when the cutscene first started, I was actually um I was actually kind of interested for a second because I thought it was going to end up being like a single player RPG kind of game. Yeah, totally. I totally and play I'm like, that game. Oh, cool. Okay, some some uh like a, a, a space game with some some halfway decent characters in it, and then mm-hmm. it's like, no, it's fucking Overwatch. Yeah, it's a five v five shooter. Hero shooter is the immediate turnoff for me. It's the hero shooter is my soul's born roguelike. I'm that, gonna be honest with you. It's mine too. As soon as, a game, as soon as a game says, "Oh, I'm a hero shooter," I instantly could care less about it and anything connected to it. Oh, I'm 100% with you, and it's... and it's. I'm going to be honest with you, like, I said the same thing about Overwatch. Like, when it came out, I was like, who wants to play that? And then... Seven years later, he has it's, a it's tattoo eight. It's, it's eight. on his ass. Sorry. But, like, even now, it's like... You know, the same thing happened to me with, with RTSs. Like, the first time I played StarCraft was my first RTS, and I played it, and I was like, oh my god, this genre is amazing. And I played every other game in the genre. I was like, no. Yeah, they're not all good. That's for Yeah. Sure. <laughs> like, most of them are bad. Yes, they are. At, at least with that genre, I did find another game that was almost as good, which was Age. Age was very good. Mm. But You never got into Command & Conquer? No, I didn't. I tried. I tried a few times, just never got into it. Gotcha. They like hero shooters, like I've tried several of them, and I'm just like, I would not play any of these. Like, just, I just wouldn't. Yeah, I feel it. I Listen, I wouldn't mess with the, I mean, because I don't mind them. The, the biggest draw for the Marvel one to me is just, it's Marvel. Like, that's really what, I mean, because I don't mind hero <laughs> shooters. You pick a class, you do, like, I know my role. I'm pretty good at Overwatch. I'm average. I don't say I'm pretty good. I'm average. So, I'm, you know, but I don't mind a hero shooter. Like, it's, you know, but this one, I'm not going to, I don't want to pay $70 for one. Not think, when there's like 12 for free for play, you know, free to play that just came out. You know what I mean? I mean, I, and that's kind of the big issue with this is like, not only is this one pay, but you put it in a showcase with another game that is free with an appeal. Right. That's we. Yeah, that was weird. I mean, they led the show with it, which I guess is cool. But yeah, th- yeah. And speaking of, um, and maybe we can do this at the end of the show real quick, but like what you think Microsoft's going to show this week? I think we're going to get it. An Overwatch trailer. You think so? For the new hero. Yep. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I thought you meant they was gonna do something new with Overwatch, but yeah, okay. Yeah. I think the I think they're gonna show a trailer with the new mode, the new map, and the new hero. I think that's what's gonna happen. Maybe they'll show a um, trailer about unborking cloud saves. <laughs> I hope they do show that. I, I really do. I, I just want them to show Wombat's road to the show save on stage. Yeah. And be like, here's something <laughs> we don't want ever to happen again. We don't want you to lose your progress. All right. Uh, I like this guy. <laughs> uh, his next tweet says, are we, are we re- finally ready to admit gaming is in crisis mode? Uh, the budgets are out of control, and everyone is scrambling to make something successful to appease all audiences. Every time they try, it looks forced. Sony Game Pass is coming, and it wouldn't shock me if it was fifty dollars a month. Oh yeah, I I would not be surprised. <laughs> I mean, I've said it for weeks. I've said it for months. Gaming is in a bad place right now. The industry is kind of it fucked is. right the now. Industry yeah, is, yeah. We we need a um. The, we need we need a, a a pivot away from uh, ridiculously over budget games where visual fidelity is the only thing that matters. Like I know the indie indies have kind of done that, but man, we need a we need a way to get the budgets on these games down without mm-hmm. fucking over. Uh, individual developers and it, it feels like as soon as as soon as the 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 um, venture capitalists saw gaming as the new frontier they descended on the industry and gaming has turned back or has turned into like so many industries where it's you have to constantly be growing and if you're not constantly growing then why aren't we just shutting you off Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. not just growing, but growing as much as we want you to, um, which is where you end up with these completely absurd and asinine uh, expectations for how many copies a game is going to sell. A niche game uh, is going to sell like it's it's all this sort of um, obsession with growth that comes along with, like I said, venture capitalists entering the industry because they felt like it was a good investment, not because there's any sort of passion or interest in the industry itself. Yep. So one of the, one of the um, drawbacks of the growth of gaming as an entertainment property uh, over the last two decades is people started really seeing it as a, uh, an industry to make a ton of money in and not just a, a business that, you know, people do to make money, of course, but um, is more about developing games that they actually want to play and keeping the budget small and just trying to outsell the budget. Yep. Now that's not even enough. No, no now it's, now it's, we need either these big massive budget games that sell you know, 15, 20 million copies, or we need a game that bleeds you dry for six to seven years. Yes. Yep. Like, those are the only two things these people care about, and I'm going to be honest with you. Better be, it better be perfect out of the box, because otherwise, you're done. Yeah, you don't get a second chance. Nope. Um, the, think, about, think about how many game studios that make great games now had a, their first game be an absolute blockbuster smash. And the the reality is it's almost none of them. Um, And that just, there's not room for that anymore. Um, Unless you're making very small games and unless you are doing them sort of on your own, out of your own pocket, you're screwed if your first game is not a massive success. Yep. And everybody chasing these, these like forever game trends don't realize that pretty much, and we've said this for years, Pretty much every genre for every game is cornered. Yeah. Yep. Hundred percent it is. Yeah, like, you're gonna have to invent some new stuff. People come in for the first like X Defiant is a perfect example. Like tons of people came in to check it out. Mm-hmm. Seventy to eighty percent of those people are gonna go back to what they were playing two weeks ago. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent for sure. And I don't that's why I don't know why they make such a big deal about the number because you said that, you know, X Defiant had, you know, three million players. Great, 
That was the yeah. first week, nigga. It was new. Yeah, everybody wanted to see it. Tell me what yeah, it got only, two weeks from now. That's what I was going to say. The only thing that matters is how many players it's got mid-June. That, that's the reason why Helldivers was so talked about is that people expected it to drop off, and it never did. It never, it never did. did. Yep. Nope. It never that well, that and, thing and is an anomaly. At, yeah, and they, they, but they've done it. It's because they've... Um, uh, they've done it in a really smart way where most of the marketing was word of mouth mm -hmm. and the um, they've given you, you know, the, the way they handle lore and new weapons and new enemies and stuff like that is all in universe. And it's done in a really smart way to keep people engaged and wanting to come back. Um, it's been very smart the way they've done it. And, they don't have a ridiculously predatory microtransaction system. And that's Man, huge. you know, I mean, and this game has bridged the fucking gap of the console warriors. Like, they want this to have an Xbox copy. Like, they want yeah. more people to play this. Like, this game is crazy. Like, an anomaly is right. Like, that's exactly what it is. You know, you know what's crazy when you were talking about the way they built it up perfectly? That was Overwatch 1 in the first year. Yes, it was. Well, yeah, it's also Overwatch it one was. when when they were saying they were going to have single player content and yep. uh, expand the story through you know or expand the lore through story missions and stuff like that. That actually made me interested in Overwatch, and I don't give a shit about that game. Yeah, that, like when uh, when that first that game first came out, like people were so interested in the characters, they wanted to know the like every time one of those trailers dropped for a new character, people went nuts. Yeah, for every listen. Every single time, my house, because my whole house played that when it comes, the whole house gathered together to watch the new trailer. Yeah. Like, we was so into fucking Overwatch. Like, I'm so pissed that they got rid of the, the story expansion stuff because I wanted to know more about this universe. Like, it's, ugh. And now nobody cares when they drop a new character trailer. It's nope. like some comic book thing that nobody watches. Yep, I can't even tell you when I've, the last one I've seen. Um, that I've watched because I know they just put out that dude, what's his name, Venture with the, or it's not a dude, it's a they. Um, but the the Venture character, like, I didn't watch that trailer. Like I don't. Well, the last one I watched that. that was really good was Kiriko. Like that was a good one. Did I watch hers? Oh, I did watch hers. Yeah, I did watch hers. And that's that only because of her connection to to Hanzo and Genji. Like that's why it was yeah. interesting. Like everything after that, it was just kind of like, okay. There's so much stuff I want. It's like the McCree, um, well, it's not McCree anymore, but him and um, uh, Reaper's relationship that they had before they ended up being where they are now. Like, I would like to know more about that. Like, their rivalry or whatever they got going on. Like, that, oh, there's so much hidden story in Overwatch that is really good that they really should be mining and doing more with instead of just having it, you know. Man, I still remember that shooter. that story trailer from Overwatch 2 before the game came out. It was so good. Which, which one was that? Where the robot the attacks one? the city and, and Genji flies Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, that yep, thing yep, was, that was so good. And then, like, the game yep. came out and you're like, well... Yep. <sighs> It's like it's like if you remember uh Onimusha three and that the trailer that plays like before you press start, like in all this epic shit and like the fight that happens, none of that ever happens in the game. Oh, that's like, the one with John Renault, right? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. None of it ever happens in the game. And it's like, what? I want that fight. I wanna do that. Like it's crazy. What's what's crazy to me is like I I always remember Onimusha one, two, three. There was like two or three games after that. I know. I didn't play. <laughs> <laughs> One of them was like a Smash Brothers game, I think. It was. Yeah, I it um that I think that was the last one that came out cuz the one that came out after 3 had like it was like the the white people like with blonde hair and doing stuff. I forget it was like the Onimusha Dawn of Destiny or something yeah. crazy. Like they totally changed everything about it. And Capcom won't bring back Onimusha or Dino Crisis. Sons right? Of bitches. I mean, we should got an anime though. Yeah, it anime. did get an I'm anime, and it, it got a it got a remaster too. Remember, it came out on Xbox. Oh yeah, on one Xbox, and PS4. Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. Which so they, they, they then they stopped. I was like, what, what What are you doing? Do do two, do three, do two, right? And do three because three is fucking great. God, I love three. They probably can't do three because of Jean Reno. That's probably why. Probably. 
Oh, they might be able to do two because isn't the uh the oh main the main character? character yeah, is he's that an actor. yeah he's an actor too. Uh, he's an actor. Yep. All right, last tweet from Shogun says, "Last thing, the state of play had great games, but what game says I need to buy a PS5? Astrobot. Sorry. Yeah, I mean that's the, that's going to be the one. Um, Sony has always been the box of borrowed creativity with a twist. <laughs> nice. That was good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the lack of creativity was only one thing on display. If they announce a PS5 Pro, they need another showcase with only first party. That is that is 100% that's true. That's not going to happen. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. Like, what is their game? Like, if you remember, and and wasn't the PS4 Pro launched with, like, Horizon or something? Uh... Like, some game to show that thing off, right? There was one. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't, I don't think it was Horizon. Um... God, what was it? I don't it? remember what it was. What fucking Xbox One X was launched with fucking Lucky's Tale. Like, what the fuck are you doing? PS4 Pro came out November 10th, 2016. I know they had a game, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, let's see. It wasn't Destiny 2, was it? I don't think so. I swore they had a game. Was it God of War? No, that was 18. That's just fair. What the hell was it? Was it, uh... Was it Days Gone? Did Days Gone launch with that? No, that was... I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think so, though. God, I don't remember. I don't remember if they had a game. But yeah, if you're gonna, if you're gonna try to sell me... Like a six, seven hundred dollar console, you need something to show, like, why I need this. Sure. And, I, and I'm going to be honest with you, as much as I love Astrobot, Astrobot ain't going to sell me a pro. Like, <laughs> like what's Astrobot going to do that it can't do on the PS5 on a pro? Nothing? <laughs> I mean, I literally was thinking, I don't think it's going to do anything. No, like, like the DualSense <laughs> controller is what made Astrobot cool on the PS5. Like, what graphical fidelity thing are you going to do for a pro for Astrobot. Is that is that maybe when you put out the, the Horizon remaster? Maybe? Uh, maybe. Um Because you don't have any go. other games, right? No other big first party games this year? No. Do you think the Spider Man DLC maybe? Uh that could be. Yeah, that it could be. But like is that gonna sell a pro? Ah, probably not. I don't think that's going to sell a pro. Yeah, I I don't think so. I'm going to be honest with Um, you, and I would probably get hate for this. I think Spider-Man 2 could have maybe worked on the PS4. Oh, I think it could have too. Yeah, I think it could have too. Yeah, it would have been... It it, it wouldn't have probably looked the same way. No, 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 no. Yeah, Yeah, they're taking a hit in graphics, but yeah, I think it definitely would have... uh, it would have been fine. On the Spider-Man PS4. looked real good on the PS4. Okay, it wasn't Days Gone because Days Gone came out in 2017. Maybe they didn't have shit. So did Horizon. I don't think they did. Yeah, like, there's I mean, a list. Uncharted 4 came out, um, but that came out early in the year in 2016. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, it's um, on the list of games that like gets the buff to look better. Uncharted 4 is. And then, like I see Last of Us Remastered. Did that come out then? Is it, Did that release then? Well, they didn't Last read. Of Us Remastered? Last no. of Us Remastered was later. Was PS5. They did oh. a. Last of Us has been remastered three times, two or three times already. Yeah, this this the PS4 remaster. Yeah, that's what this is. Like I just didn't know when it came out. Because uh, the, the one on PS5 is a remake, or, or I don't fuck, I don't know. I know it, they do too much. They they do too much. They do too much with Horizon and The Last of Us. Like, way too much with those two games. Mm-hmm. Like, Lord. Uh, I guess they didn't have a game for this. I guess they just dropped it out with the promise of yeah, I don't see making your games look would, better. Yeah, I don't see anything else that would count. Hold on, let me see something real quick. That's just crazy to me. Like, how do you launch more expensive hardware... Because do you really think Sony's going to drop the price of the PS5 when this thing comes out? Or do you think it's just going to be more expensive? 
I don't think they. I don't think the PS5 uh, yeah, is going to drop. I think yeah, they just going to well, get the expensive Pro. <clears throat> so Horizon came out the next year after the PS5 Pro. PS4 Pro in 2017. Yeah, PS4 Pro. Sorry, in 2017. Okay. Uh, so did Destiny 2. Huh. Came out the next year in 2017. I knew there was a reason that Destiny and the P- Destiny Two and the PS4 Pro were connected in my head. I think it's because that's when I bought a PS4 Pro. Man, um, let's see. When did so? Uh, I don't think they did. I'm God, fucking at 2017 was such a great year. I don't feel Breath like the, the PS4 that was Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Divinity Original Sin Two, Jesus Mario Christ. Kart Eight Deluxe. Uh. Horizon, Destiny 2, the first Hellblade. Yeah, I don't think the PS4 Pro was necessary. I felt like the Xbox One X was. Yeah, I think, well, I think Sony was just, you know, saw an opportunity where, oh, shoot, we can do this, make some more money, let's, let's do that too. I think that's what that was. They did it first. Now. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. Yeah. PS4 oh, Pro came Xbox out before came the, out the One X did. Yeah. And Microsoft's claiming they're not doing one this gen, so. Hmm. I don't. I don't think it's necessary. Like we've been saying. I mean. Oh, it's a hundred percent unnecessary. Fine. Like I don't. Not only is it unnecessary power wise, I don't think it's necessary like financially. Like who? Like legitimately, who is paying that much money outside of like. Like the really, really, really hardcore, which is me, and I'm not buying it. Like. Yeah. I, cause I, I consider myself a hardcore. Well, I think I might have like maybe slightly slipped out of hardcore, but no, nah, I no, nah, I ain't buying one. I'm cool. Like this like, is something I, I that I know. Go ahead. I was gonna say this is something I would absolutely buy any other time, but I just don't see the need for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we definitely don't need one for sure. No, my Series X and my PS5 do just fine right now. Mm-hmm. I do need a new switch, like <laughs> yeah, yes, a thousand times, yes. Yeah, like the switch is, is ooh, it's rough, man. It's real rough. Although you know what, I spent um a decent amount of time on my switch last year between Super Mario Wonder and uh, Dragon Quest Monsters. I mean, Zelda came out last year. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, fuck. My switch got three straight months of play. When Zelda came out. You didn't know what to do. I was like, I, I ain't never been on this much. Oh, yeah. oh goodness. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I think last year is when I bought the OLED Switch, which I didn't buy it because of the screen. I bought it because we needed a second Switch, and it had um, uh, Ethernet. So. Oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. It's on the thing now. Which doesn't help, by the way. I just want to point that out. Oh, really? No, the download on a Switch is still fucking slow as balls. Nice. Even oh, hardwired, right. it's slow. I feel like downloads on everything are slow. PlayStation's super I, fast, man. Yeah, it's that's as I'm thinking about it, probably the only one that benefits from being direct connected at my house. Because I've got I got 500 gig internet, and the I, I don't feel like maybe the PlayStation now uses that, but the Xbox definitely doesn't. My Xbox uh, almost peaks out mine. It, it hits about 700. I have a gig. It hits about 700 on Xbox. Man, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, man, because my Xbox Jesus. doesn't download stuff that fast. Really? I have a gig. Um, and my my Steam Deck do definitely that. doesn't either. No, it's not consistent. There will be times where I'm only getting like 200, 300, but I've seen it hit like yeah. 700. Like my my consistency with Xbox is like, like, like you said, two, three, four hundred, maybe on, yeah. you know, on a good day, but I ain't never seen like seven, but PlayStation, yeah, PlayStation, PlayStation blazes on downloads online, dude. fast, Oof. but then it's weird because PlayStation does that where it downloads it. Then you have to wait for it to install. Like it's like a separate process. Like it doesn't like all go into one. I don't know, but yeah, the download speeds are definitely faster on PlayStation. That, that's probably why the Xbox goes slower is because it's installing it as it downloads. I see, and that's what I was I was always thinking that maybe that's what it is since it's, they're doing it all together. And also and Xbox slows it. Other. Xbox throttles it when you're playing a game. Yep. 
Yep, it does. And I don't think Sony does that. No, it I, doesn't. It stays full yeah. speed when you're playing a game, which is crazy. Like, if you're playing an online game, like, oof. It's, hell yeah. Like, <laughs> that's no good. <laughs> like, you, you need to throttle it a little bit when I'm playing a game online. But... Right. Right. <laughs> All right, uh, that's all I have. If Do you want to do a quick, what do you think you're going to see this week? Do you, do you see any surprises? Um, I, You know, I I really don't even don't even know. I have stuff that I, you know, I would love to see, you know, blue sky stuff that I don't think is going to happen. Like, I'd love to see something new with StarCraft. I was going to say, I'd just do, to... do the blue sky shit because that's the fun stuff. Yeah, I I'd, I'd love to see something with StarCraft. Um I'd like to see a big Game Pass drop, like you already said. That we'll probably see all the Call of Duty ones, but I'd like to see some more stuff like the Transformers games and some of the older stuff from from Active. Some of the Spider-Man games would be cool. Oh, some of those were good. Um I saw I saw something going around the internet the other day about um Black Cat's outfit in um Shattered Dimensions. Oh. That what outfit talking about? that outfit probably couldn't exist today. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. That well there's a lot of stuff in some of them games that they would have to change cuz looks yeah. like a stellar blade outfit. <laughs> Man, listen, let me tell you something. I'm playing uh like I said Command and Conquer um Red Alert 3 and the full motion video scenes, man, like there's just looking at asses and making, <laughs> you know, subtle sex jokes. I'm like, shit, this wouldn't fly today. Like, man, Tim Curry watching the chick's uh, ass as you walk out, then you look back at the camera, like and wink at it and stuff. I'm like, ooh, y'all can do that I, now. You know what's funny is you say that, and Tim Curry, I could totally see that face he's making. Oh, yeah. Um, I love him. But anyway, yeah, so I, I, I think... Um, I'd like to see Killer Instinct. I'd like to see something new uh, from Killer Instinct. Um, I'd like to see Fable. Uh, You're probably going to see Fable. It's just, yeah. Um, That's like a real Indiana game. Jones? So. Indiana yeah. Jones will definitely well, be there, for sure. Okay. You, you know what I don't want to see? A car? Forza. Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, a car. A car. I don't think they have a Forza, so I think you might be okay this year. I think you might be... <laughs> The, uh, you know what? It, 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 another thing they definitely should show is what they're doing with Halo, because that's what. Yeah, they have come. I, I was reading some some sentiment from Halo players on on uh, Twitter this weekend, and like people are fucking fed up. I don't blame them. Yeah, um, but I don't well, think I this is your that. Halo year. I think this is your Gears year. I think this is well. I, I, I don't even need years. like I don't. I don't even mean like a new Halo, but just like updates for Infinite something. or something. Yeah, something for well, the that, people that are still playing Infinite because it that probably I mean, will come because I thought that was what this was supposed to be. Like Halo Infinite was supposed to be there, like well, base, and then they just pour into to upgrade, you know, add stuff from there. That's not like, the that rumor is... now. Oh, okay. The okay. rumor now All is right. that they've completely reset everything and they're going to start from scratch. Jesus Christ. Yep. All right. That's a mess. Definitely. Yeah, it's a real mess. Halo uh, is gears. Halo well, is I, a I slam dunk. Some, I think there's some uh, I'll say legitimate concern from some people who are into Halo that now that Microsoft owns Call of Duty, they don't need Halo. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's that sucks because I have a significant amount of more interest from a single player game standpoint in the Halo universe than the Call of Duty universe. Same. So if Microsoft decides they're just not going to make Halo games anymore because they've got Call of Duty now, oof, that sucks. No, I don't want Halo to go away. No way. I don't think they would do that because it's, those two games scratch different itches. Um, The single player campaign is one thing, but I mean, the multiplayer is wildly different. Um, in the two games, I, I don't think they will stop Halo in favor of Call of Duty. At least I hope, I hope not. not. But they have they have certainly succeeded in scaring a lot of players off of the multiplayer side. So I think this might be the longest I've gone without playing Halo. Oh yeah, I haven't played. You know what? I haven't played Halo since I haven't played Infinite since the multiplayer launched. Yeah, I, See, I played through I, the campaign and didn't touch it after that. I didn't play through the campaign. I played some of the campaign. I didn't the finish it, but I played it. Was, yeah, it, it was, was good. Definitely the best Halo since 
probably. Oh, maybe I'll go reach. back and finish it. Since Reach, I, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I didn't hate. Oh, I loved Reach. Yeah, I didn't hate it. Like I didn't dislike yeah. it. I just, you know, like the Halo was always yeah. multiplayer to me. Yeah, let me let me specify. It's the best one since Reach. It's, it's the best one since Bungie reach. stopped making oh, them. Yeah, gotcha. I gotcha. Um, that, that is it, different. It is good, um, but it's it's not it's not as good as the 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 Bungie games. But it's no. the best. Three, it's the best three four three game for sure. Yeah, okay. it's the best three four three game by like a country mile. The only complaint I had about it was that it does the same shit that every Halo does at the end, where it's like yeah, we're just gonna away. make you run a gauntlet with. Yeah every fucking enemy all over the place and just overwhelm you with enemies. I mean, it's the Halo um, way. <laughs> that is every Halo, Halo ending, too. Like, damn. I I mean, get to could, you imagine a, could you imagine a Resident Evil not ending with a timer? Like, come on. <laughs> Actually, I guess that's true. <laughs> I, don't, I don't play Resident Evil, so... Every Resident Evil know. ends with a, a self-destruction countdown timer. It does. It does. I didn't even think about that. Wow. All right, I'm going to give you one. It needs to happen. This, this is the time. I'm going to kill her instinct, this shit. If y'all have been listening to the show long enough to know. Banjo got to come back. Wow. Oh, you know what? I could see that. There's been, there's been a, lot of, a lot of chatter about you know, people missing Banjo and stuff. Who would do it, though? Would it be rare? Mm, no. What Rare's Everwild. doing Everwild. Is that still a real thing? Uh, according to the latest rumor, yes. It is a multiplayer game, so it's a co-op Oof. game. Ugh. Oh, so it's changed. Okay, yeah, all right. It's, I mean, <laughs> after their success with Sea of Thieves, I understand it, but I hate it at the same time. Yeah, I was interested in Everwild when it was originally pitched, but that I don't know if I want... Oh. I mean, you want to get crazy. What was the stat I saw today? You know, Metroid Prime 4 was announced seven years ago. Holy crazy. crap. Yeah. Damn. State of Decay 3 was announced four years ago. We've not even seen it. Forgot about that. Fable yep. was announced, what, four years ago? We haven't seen it. Perfect Dark was announced, what, two, three years ago? Haven't seen it. Kind of fit, well, no, it won't because they they just went through a reshuffle. I was going to say I kind of feel like Perfect Dark will be there, but I think they just went through a studio shakeup. Like, did they change a bunch of stuff, or like somebody got fired? And I've heard, I've things. heard miss, I've heard back and forth. I've heard that game is in trouble, but I've also heard that game is fine. So I don't know okay. who to believe. I do believe yeah, Fable I mean, is fine. <clears throat> Playground yeah. is pretty consistent, I think. They just took them some time to to build an open world adventure RPG instead of a racing game, but I think it'll be fine. I think so. I I don't know what's going on with State of Decay. Like those guys made two pretty good games. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure this one will be fine. Let Double Fine make Conquer. There you go. Give me that. Ooh, that would be good. It won't happen, but. I totally no, play it. That, I, I'd be fine if Double Fine was making a Psychonauts 3. Yeah, I don't think they're doing that. That game, because um, it's like done, like it was supposed to be, uh, the rumor was that it was going to get showed at the last show, where it's like a clay thing, like you make your character out of clay or something, and then you go out and fight like a third person. It's time um, for another Double Fine combat. game, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's the one that they were working on, because um, there's like, footage of people playing it so that that may be at the show we'll definitely see about <laughs> with it coming out this year oh for sure yeah we'll see about probably something I, I bet that elder scrolls remaster will be there which uh, elder scrolls remaster it's um it's oblivion i think oh yeah i didn't even know they were remastering oblivion yeah it was leaked huh. in the ftc shit um, nice. Alongside Doom, which was year one, which is now, uh, what are they calling it? The medieval one? I forgot what they called it. Uh, Dark Ages. Dark, yeah, Dark something. Yeah. Like, but like Anthony said, if it plays like Eternal, I, I don't know that I want it. <laughs> like Eternal is is the definition of that GIF you put in in Discord all the time, Terrence. The, this too much. Like, Eternal, Eternal is just too much, man. Like, it's just... 
I didn't finish it. I enjoyed what I played. I think I'm pretty... Yeah, but when you get towards the end of that game and you gotta juggle like 400 moves and 300 enemies, oh my god. Okay, so that that did start to get... Because like, I, I got to the point where you know you had the double jump and then you swing and then you could like teleport onto not teleport but you like dash towards the walls and you climb and stuff like there was a point where there was a bunch of enemies and different stuff like that that i had to do around and do that it took me like four times and i'm like fuck this is a lot so you're saying the rest of the game is like that oh it gets worse and then you're like you've got to you've got to monitor your cooldowns of like oh, i gotta burn this guy so i can get armor and i gotta chainsaw yep. this guy so i can get ammo and like I gotta okay glory awesome. kill so i can get health and it's like, oh my god all right, nah. This that, is not that, what that, Doom that, was like. Just let me shoot demons and pick up health packs. And we're good. Doom 2016 is still uh, the pinnacle. The game is just oh, so good. That one is good. I don't know, man. My bucket list was Perfect Dark, Conquer, and Banjo, and I got one of the three announced. So I just need the other two. What's funny? It's all going, rare I, shit. I know I've 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 had this I don't want to call it an argument so I'll call it a discussion with Anthony before but <laughs> I just don't understand what the appeal of like what's the differentiating appeal of Perfect Dark in 2024 I I don't know the answer to that question to be honest with you I don't either I mean but they're they're going to have to do something with it to differentiate differentiate itself from everything else cuz I mean even the old one is pretty similar to yeah I, I don't know like I, I, I wasn't even necessarily hyped for Perfect Dark. It was more like, oh yeah, I'm gonna play that because I played the one on 64, and I, I didn't play the 360 one to completion. I played some of it, um, I think maybe when it first came out or whatever. But yeah, I, I don't know. But I, I'm with you. I, I don't know how it's gonna stand out. But that's probably why, maybe why it's having so much problem. I think it needs it to be. Out. I think it needs to be more like the 64 version, which. If you've ever finished it, it gets really fucking dumb towards the end of it. Dumb. It does towards yeah. the end, yeah. Like make it like that. Make it dumb. I don't need it to be gritty and realistic. I need it to be dumb. I yeah. you know what? I wish they would go back to that type of stuff cuz yeah, everything is has to be gritty and real now and you know, some of that stuff from back in the day was a lot of fun being over the top and, you know, just silly. Like it's a game. Like I don't. It doesn't have to take itself seriously. I don't. I don't need that. What was it? Two to three year period of the 360 where everything was a first person or over the shoulder military yeah. sim kind Grim of Darden. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like I want some colorful dumb shit. Like Immortals of Avium was was good about its color palette and kind of being a little dumb. And I dug that. I want more of that. Like. Say what you want about Avowed, but it looks different than an Elder Scrolls ripoff to me. It does. And I actually, that's one of the reasons why I'm excited about it. That it looks, is, it looks colorful. It looks more like, um, it looks more like Might and Magic than yeah. Elder Scrolls. It looks different. Oh, I didn't and that's what that. I want. Like Might and Magic. Like, if I want my dark and gritty, I play COD. I play Gears of War, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I just, I don't know, man. This whole like I gotta be realistic. I don't. I don't need it. I want it to be dumb. Like let me shoot aliens at Area Fifty One in Perfect Dark. Like let me do that. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, you know what else? The other game I want to see because they didn't show it at the the last show. That's South of Midnight. Like I'm really curious what that's about. That game looks cool. I like the trailer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that developer. <sighs> I liked I liked contrast. I hated We Happy Few. I I didn't hate We Happy Few, but I didn't love it. I did like Con- contrast was good, but We Happy Few was eh. It wasn't what they said it was. No, and I think that's yeah, because like I played that even because like, I played that when it came out like in early access back in like 2016 or whatever. So that it was you know they were still delivering what it was going to be, but by the time 1.0 came out, it was yeah it was different. It it, it was different. But I'm curious about South of Midnight. Like I just want to know like what it's about. I know it's a third person action adventure, but like show me actual gameplay. Like I, I love the setting. We don't get enough games yeah. in the like deep south, like yep. with that 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 kind yeah. of like voodoo kind of vo- style. Voodoo aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
super cool. Like, say what you want, Voodoo Vince was the bomb. I can't lie. It was. That game was dope. That I did like Voodoo Vince. Didn't they just did they come back out and get backwards compatible or something? They made they did a remake or a remaster, sorry, of it on Xbox okay. One. Yep. That's what it was. Okay. That game's still good. Like I still like that game. I don't know. <laughs> Bring back Blinks the Time Sweeper. I don't give a fuck. Hell yeah. Blinks was actually alright. Like, the first was, one. The first one. The first yeah, not the second one. The first one was alright though. I still don't know why. They, who owns Mechasalt? Like, does Microsoft actually own that IP? Uh, probably. Hold on, I'm about to look. I wish um, they would come back to that. I loved, yeah, I love love those games. Yeah, agreed. Second one wasn't as good. No, it. I mean, no. I like the fact that you could get out of the mech, like, and you could do, like, you could. There was like different vehicles and stuff. That was cool. Grand Theft Mech. Yeah, basically. I don't know. Yeah. I just told uh, they, yeah, they yeah, have a good I don't know because it's it's um. Let's see, so day one studios. They shut them down, exist. didn't they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, F A S A. Oh yeah, Fossa. The trademark is currently owned by Tops, and for video games, Microsoft's Xbox Game Studios. Yeah, because it's because it's, so, yeah. it's BattleTech. That's the thing. Yeah, like, that's it's what I'm not, looking at. It's yep. not a. It's 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 in the BattleTech universe. So who knows? Microsoft what, what owns that it. Looks like do they? Because I found, yeah, it's on this BattleTech thing. I found that the trademark is oh, currently okay. owned by Tops for BattleTech. And for video games, Microsoft's Xbox Game Studios owns it. Oh, okay. So they the, totally could come out with a mech assault. How the fuck are those games not backwards compatible then? Like, Right! Like, what the hell? Yeah, no, I don't know. It's a great question. Man, I'm sad they don't do backwards compatibility anymore. Me too. Man, that mecha The mech assault was why? Because that was, that was when I got Xbox Live. Because they sold it in that... um. Yeah, the, the bundle. The Xbox Live bundle, yep. You got the headset yeah. and all that. Starter that kit my, is what they purchase. called it. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was what I got. That was my first thing in Xbox Live was Mech Assault. Yeah, I remember playing Xbox Live at E3 the year I went. Oh, nice. That was the that was the first year before it launched. They were running Ghost Recon and Unreal Tournament. Or was it called Championship? I can't remember what it was called on Xbox. Uh, it, it was, was Unreal. Yeah, Championship. Yeah, Championship. Man, we played that a fuck ton. Yeah, I remember. We did. I that, that and Ghost lot. Recon. Whew. Yes. And whacked. <laughs> I remember whacked. Whacked. Oh boy, that game was terrible. It, it was not good. No. Oh, all right. Well, in a week, we'll know all the answers. And probably be disappointed. I mean, isn't probably. that video game coverage now? You just disappointed with everything? Mm-hmm. You're just like, oh, this is, this is terrible. Oh. The one thing Microsoft cannot do is announce a bunch of games that ain't going to be out for four years. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Like, man, y'all better show us what you got coming out this year. And next year, don't show me something that's going to be out in 2027, because I, no, bro, don't do this. Do you think you get new hardware? Do you think you get that digital, that adorably all digital system? I actually do think they're going to show that. And that controller that they're, that's supposed to come out this year, too. How oh, about boy, a prior? controller? Yeah, yeah you're I always going to well, get a new controller. Well, yeah, for sure. But, you know, this is their, their revamping of it or whatever. But, yeah, I do think they're going to show that all digital thing because it's supposed to come out end of the year so they probably got to get pre-orders started for that sometime soon <laughs> excuse me you uh think you get a price drop that uh, i don't I, know i would doubt it i don't think so but it's yeah. crazy after four years or they could shock us and drop the price because i mean they already know sony is selling to, you know whatever so they might just be like fuck it let's just we'll take a hundred dollars off I mean, you ain't that selling the system anyway. Exactly. So you, why not? You got Call of Duty coming to Game Pass. Make the Series S one ninety nine. Make the Series X three ninety nine. When Sony's got a seven hundred dollar PS five Pro. Yeah, they coming to you. They definitely coming to you. 
If you want Call of Duty this fall, you buy $199 Xbox and Game Pass, and you get it. Yeah, you there. Yep. And it's cross-play, so it's not like you can't play with your PS5, bros. You know, I kind of I kind of think we might see a price drop. Honestly, I think we might. Um, Just based on, like like you said, they're not selling. You know, they, they put in Call of Duty and Game Pass, and that's a huge, you know, a huge thing. Um, I, I think they might drop the price. I don't know if it'll be as much as you're saying, like one ninety nine. What you say, two ninety nine for the no, X? No, three ninety nine for the X. Three ninety nine. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna do all of that, but they probably they may drop like fifty or something. Ah, you can't sell for four forty nine. That's a dumb price. I I think it is. You need like, that three. Oh. You need whether whether it's four hundred after tax. You need that three as the first number. That's what you need. I see what you're saying. Like the the, I, the I, mental I, gymnastics that people do with like two ninety nine. That's why they make things two ninety nine instead of three dollars. Yep. Like selling it for four forty nine, it doesn't change people's perspective of how much it costs. Got you. Okay. Well, I I think we see it. I think we could see a price drop. I think I think it makes sense too at their point at this point where they are in all this. So yeah, they ain't selling not, the machine, so it's not like you're losing money because they're just sitting on the exactly. shelf. So I mean, we want we want them to move. So yeah, drop the price. Yeah, I don't think Sony will. No, no. The PS5 I, I will think... be five hundred dollars, and the Pro will be six to seven hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Sony has no reason to drop the price. They're selling. Right. Yeah. So I I think we could see. I think we could, especially with the new system. The since they're going to put that new you know all digital system out. Yeah. No. No disc drive in there. That's an easy fifty bucks off the price right there. So why not? Right away. Yep. I don't know. Be an interesting show. Be fun. Be a whole is, weekend yeah. full of uh, video gaming Christmas. Man, let me just say, I hope it's an interesting show. I hope so. I mean, they have all the, I think they have all the tools and ingredients to make it interesting. <laughs> now it's just on them to, to deliver. Well, don't you know forget, I mean? you also got Keeley's thing on Friday, which is two hours. Yeah, that's a, I, when I say that, I don't just mean the Xbox show. I mean, like, the entire period of time here, I hope we get some really interesting game announcements and it's not just, Hey, look at this fucking trailer of this game. We told you about four years ago and it's still not out. Guess what? It's also yes. still not out. Healy's going to yes. drop the uh, fallen of the Lords. Year. Jesus Christ. Two fallen, two Lords, two fallen. <laughs> yeah. I, I just don't, what I don't want to see is a whole bunch of shit that is late 2025. That was already announced four years ago. Yeah. Same. Like, I yeah, I don't like uh, show me some shit that's coming soon. Mm-hmm. Especially with and... Xbox talking about um, new consoles in 2026. So. Right. Right. And show me gameplay. Don't show yeah. me a CGI yeah, trailer or yeah, whatever. Right. If Fable or Perfect Dark or CGI trailers, don't show them. Right. Agree. Don't, don't do it. Yeah. Like gameplay. Like man, fuck the. the, 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 the in in engine uh, cutscene, nah. Show me gameplay, man. Right. Yep. Fable should have gameplay at this point, and if you're not showing it, don't don't bother show the game at all. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Agreed. So, I don't know. I hope it is a good weekend because I love this time of year, I and I, I hope we also get a Nintendo Direct. That would be awesome. Because let's be yeah. fair, the Nintendo shows are never bad. No. no. No, they are not. There's always at least something, but I... I, I was just going to say. I, I just wonder when they're going to officially announce this new Switch. I think we see it in the fall. I think we Meaning... see it in the fall, and they launch in early 2020, 2025. Gotcha. I think they get out... What, what else do they have? Paper Mario's out, and so is Luigi's Mansion, and then I think... You could do so. They have, they have a couple options. They could do the Metroid Prime Two, or they could do the Zeldas to kind of pad out the rest of the year. And then I think you see the Switch Two in like let's say October, or November. They announce it. They launch it in March, maybe February, March. Could be. Seems like a good time frame because you know Nintendo sits on games. What was it? Uh, it was unearthed this week that Paper Mario was rated like a year and a half ago. Like it's been done. 
Yeah. Holy crap. I did not know that. Wow. And that it happens with all their games. games. That happens with all their games. If you remember, Advance Wars got delayed a year. And it was probably done I a do year before that. that. Yeah, that was because that yeah, was of the that. war. Yeah, but I think it was probably done a year before that happened. Yeah, probably so. And the Zelda remake or the Zelda remasters have probably been done for two years. The Metroid Prime two and three remasters have probably been done for two or three years. Man, Nintendo, real live crack dealer out here. They just stringing y'all, just give y'all a little taste. Here you go. You yeah. This. I mean, why Knowing not? they got a closet full. <laughs> they wanna they so they wanna push that system. Because if you remember, they're really close to the PS2, right, in sales? Yeah, yeah. So if they drop some big names like Metroid, Zelda, you know, something over the next six months before they announce the new one, they might be able to topple the PS2 before Switch 2 comes out. Good. I mean, it depends on whether Jim Ryan comes out and says that there's actually a, a he found a, a secret cast of... <laughs> Two million extra play, PlayStation Twos that they sold and didn't tell anybody about. Yeah, I loved how right. that was his like parting comment. He's like, "Actually, the PS2 sold this many." It's like, motherfucker, yeah. what what info do you have that nobody else has? Like, what what? Right, right. Oh, that was funny. Motherfucker just sold a bunch of them to Costco or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's the show for this week. Next week's show will be super interesting. I don't know when we're gonna record it. Um. With the Xbox thing being it. What's that? Could we do it in the evening? Sunday night? Like after the Xbox show? I mean, I'm fine with that. I just, it's got to be everybody's got to be available kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm down for later if we have to. So it's, you know. Yeah, me too. Um, So we'll we'll, we'll talk about it in Discord this week. But yeah, I don't want to do it during the Xbox show because I'm going to be real honest with you. I won't be paying attention to anything on the show. Facts. Because I'm going to watch that. Yep. Um, So yeah. Kicking off on Friday, going through the whole weekend. Should be some cool shit, some stuff to be excited about. Uh, but yeah, send us emails, podcast at ztgd.com. Send us some tweets to at ZTGD Radio on Twitter. And also get your chair, okay? I'm going to keep doing this for seven more weeks. Use your code at ewinracing.com. Use ZTGD code, get your 20% off on them chairs so you can put your happy ass in it and watch the show, The Key Threes. Man, I want one of them chairs. It just it looked comfortable. I may have to listen. Use my code. I'm I'm going to. It's a savings. Shit, the things is high. I don't like, get any yeah. money from that, by the way. It's not like I don't. Oh, I didn't think that. I mean, but a coupon is a coupon, man. Like I'm man. I give you them. I give you them coupons. Just clip I my coupon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's it for this week. So unless anybody has anything else, we'll get out of here. Alrighty. And it goes something like this.